head on over to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura for an all new merch lineup. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva, but more specifically, their new mattress, the Solaire. We have one now that we sleep on that is unbelievable. I would even describe it as being the shit. It sits up for you, it lays down, it's adjustable, it has a zero gravity setting. It vibrates. It vibrates for you, it has firmness and softness. It has a light under it too, you can turn on a light. So fancy, so wonderful, (laughs) so delicious. It is the ultimate sleeping experience. And when I told that to the marketing people at Sattva, I convinced them to go ahead and give us the landing of sattva.com, S-A-A-T-V-A.com slash the shit, because that's what I, how good the Solaris is the shit. So it's sattva.com slash the shit, and you get $225 off the Solaire or any other mattress. To learn more, once again, go to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A.com slash the shit. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Chomos. It's another (laughs) episode of Your Mom's House podcast. We're so happy to be back here with you inside Studio Gene, brought to you by Wrangler. Oh. So, what a what a weekend! What a whirlwind! Again, no, we uh, we we had our we had guests. And yeah. I know that's forbidden. It's a political issue. But they now. were Rona tested. They were tested for the Rones, their negs, mm-hmm. and we're exhausted. It's really from it's, having people over. And like we didn't have to do much for them. It's just no. I think it's the emotional expenditure. Yeah. That happens when you have guests. Like I remember, I've never been more um, suicidal, homicidal, or depressed as when the holidays. When all the people came to town, oh, I just wanted them all to leave. You I know? know, and it's not like I was, you know, morning, noon, and night being like, "Here's the itinerary." It was just the emotional exhaustion of being like, my cousin, my siblings, my parents, my, you know, it's like every. They, are you all right? Do you have something to do? And then oh, people start to go like, "What are we going to eat next?" And you're like, "I don't know. I mean, aren't you a grown up? What I are know. you going to? What do you want to eat?" Like, it took so much out of me. Well, and, and I don't know if this is just me. But I, I have a hard time answering people's dumb questions when I'm trying to take care of my kids. Like yeah. I focus so hard on like making sure like, oh, I'm watching the two year old and then they'll be like, so Christina, yeah. are you, what are, are you exercising? What are you? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I can't do both. I can't do two things at once. Do you know what I'm saying? It yeah. stresses me out to answer dumb questions. Of course. I know. And then. I don't like conversations. Then you start getting I asked think. like. <laughs> rapid fire. Where are the spoons? You know, they're in the fucking <laughs> drawer. Which drawer? I know. Over there. Which one? Where's the, the garbage? Oh, that makes yeah. me crazy when they don't just look for it themselves. Yeah. Like, where's the ice? Got it. Motherfucker, where's ice normally? Yeah, the ice is in our cabinet above the, yeah. above the pots and pans. Yeah, where, where are the cups? Well, where do you think? There's only a few places they can be located. It is. It's exhausting. It's it exhausting. is. And, and I so look forward to the visits because so you're the like, visit's fun. This will be fun. And also, uh, I forgot how I missed, I mean, I think this gives us a little bit of that socializing, but mm. socializing as somebody who was never very social, yeah. it, it is kind of fun to socialize again, like to talk to somebody face to face. It was and, exciting. Yeah. But I can't tell you, maybe our exhaustion is also from the excitement of just having maybe that's it new too. interaction. You get a little adrenaline rush from it. I was like, and Then it Whoa. goes away and you're like, oh my God, I've never slept so hard. By the way, neither are they. <laughs> Uh, my cousin texted me. She slept 11 hours. <laughs> Everybody was exhausted. Yeah, was we like, all exhausted each shit. other. And then in, in preparation for their coming, uh, you ordered 57 croissants from the local bakery. Oh. So I had heard through <laughs> a friend that there's an amazing bakery or uh, near, our, near our house. And the guy, my friend told me, and I go, no, no. He goes, you haven't been. He goes, it's croissants, but like, you got to go and at this time in the morning to get one. So I'm like, all right, I'll try one. 
well, you went with me, I think, the first time. I did. We took a pilgrimage. We walked down there. How good are those? I mean. They're really good. This guy. I'm afraid. Can I tell you how good they yeah, are? Yeah. I'm afraid to even really go down the rabbit hole. I know. Because I know how fat I'm going to get. Yeah. It was a real fat weekend. So he um, he also told me that he makes certain special croissants, but you got to call ahead. So I always get too big of eyes when it comes to like food and, and people coming to town. I always overdo Remember it. Remember the time we ordered all those wild wings? Yeah. Was that in Alabama? It was. How many wings did we order? Uh, accidentally, <laughs> I think around 100. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. We, I was like, well, this way we can try all the different flavors. And you're like, but you got 15 flavors. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like five of each, it's fine. <laughs> we were in our hotel room with just boxes and boxes and boxes of wings. It was it's so crazy. great. So that's what happened though. So when I called, I go, great, let me get five of this, mm -hmm. five of this. Five. And I forget, I'm not talking about cookies, they're croissants. So. <laughs> When I go to pick it up, it was uh, the morning of the 4th. Um, he has them in a pizza box. Because <laughs> it's it's an Italian restaurant and they just happen to make croissants. Right. So shows them to me. It looks like goddamn just like jewelry. I mean, he's just like, look at these. <laughs> I was like, wow. And then we're walking around. I realized what, I'm just walking around with a pizza box to, to walk home. In the morning, yeah. Yeah, it's early in the morning. It's like 9. And then people <laughs> everywhere, you realize it. It's alarming to people <laughs> to see someone with a pizza box <laughs> that not. early in the morning because they're like, you're getting pizza right now? Yeah, strangers, yeah. were their minds were blown. Yeah, the people were like pointing at me. Yeah, up across the street. Like and people were saying fuck. things. They're like, Jesus, man, <laughs> starting early? Pizza? <laughs> and one guy was like, yeah, that's, how, that's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Let me get a slice. <laughs> I know. And then I felt like explaining it to everybody. I was like, yeah. you don't understand. <laughs> These are croissants. <laughs> And then he would have to open the box and to show prove. them. I was like, no, 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 they're croissants. See, these are, but they're all different. And then people were like, oh, those look amazing. And then I would tell them the whole story. This is an Italian guy, <laughs> and he learned to make croissants, and he makes them at his Italian place, but he also has other Italian food. And they're like, okay, that's a lot more information than we needed. I know. That but was they're fucking really amazing. cute. You got so excited, and we ate them all. There's yeah. not one left. And then I, I just, you know, I also wanted everybody to try every croissant. So. <laughs> I would slice it up and be like, eat these croissants, eat, eat, eat. I was like, a, like an Italian grandmother. You were. Manja, manja. I'm about to go to, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. cute though. It was really nice of you. I like seeing you getting excited about stuff because I, I feel in this quarantine, you have to find the little things to get excited about. Like it's that's, true. that's the majority of my life. There's like, so many, there's stages of quarantine. Well, let's, well, let's we'll do talk the about opening it. and then we'll talk, I, discuss but I, I will say that Pierce coming in last week was the happiest thing that's happened in a long time in my life. And yeah. he, he brought me so much joy that I, I ruminated on his appearance for days. And I'm just excited that we have a dialogue. I, I've been a guest on a bunch of podcasts. Um, I did a, a couple of Spanish podcasts. I did Steve-O. And everybody has led with, how about those balls in the ass? <laughs> everybody. Know. You know, they just it brought so much joy to so many people at such a tough time. Yeah. Just like Wood, Wood did, you know? Yeah. Heroes. Yeah. So then you're like, everyone's like, hey, so you, uh, <laughs> you, you, you're, you brought the balls in the ass guy to people's attention and the, uh, the big black cock sitting on the edge of the bed. That's kind of your wheelhouse. <laughs> and I'm like, I think so. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep. That's what I'm what going for. What you got, fool? But wait, uh, what are they contributing to this pandemic? Exactly. Nothing, bro. Um, all right. Uh, you ready to start the show? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house <laughs> with Tom Segura, Tom, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Isn't that great? I was just thinking, how many farts has our nanny heard? Oh, yeah. We think like she's not listening. She hears our farts. She, she's heard the farts. <laughs> and I just had this fantasy of like when when we stopped working with her, when our kids were grown, I want to bring her in mm-hmm. and be like, what's the worst thing you've heard us oh, say like, and do? So many farts. <laughs> so many burps. <laughs> Like, you guys fucking all the time. Many uh, <laughs> words that get you cancelled. <laughs> Too much jetting, all the jets. All the jets, <laughs> all the day. Uh, so that, if you're listening, that fart that you heard <laughs> was uh, live on the Golf Channel. Um, that was a guy teeing off and then ripping a fart as <laughs> as the uh, the tee off mic picked it up. And then you hear them talking about it. They're like, Jesus, man. Like, is he Australian? Uh, maybe the guy is, who I said something. <laughs> There's nothing that feels better, though, you know? Like an open air <laughs> fart like that, that somebody else can can also get a little whiff of. You're out there with your boys, you know? No. Tee off and you're like, oh. <laughs> feels so good. I do love, I do love an open fart like that. Yeah. Like where you, you just know you're alone. Yeah. Or there's no, there's nobody in earshot. Right. There's nothing more liberating than a fart like that. And that one too, you can tell that that felt good. Yeah. And like, <laughs> you know, it. It had like some force behind it, but he didn't shit himself or anything. It's just, yeah. it's a win-win. Right. You know? <laughs> Tom, you're absolutely right. Yeah. And I would say though, the timing is that he bent down and that's when the fart came out. Yeah. Now, I normally would be a little nervous to do that because of sharding. Yeah. But well, like you said, This he man got knows lucky. his body, you know? <laughs> yeah, he knows his body. Um, <laughs> so look, uh, oh, I guess we should bring up before we go through the stages of quarantine. <laughs> Um, today, <coughs> Nadav just didn't show up. And what um, the hell? We don't have to file missing persons report uh, by law for 24 hours. Um, no one's been able to reach him via uh, text, via phone up, call. It's interesting that you bring up a missing person. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that We're he is buried. yet. I'm just saying that he didn't answer phone calls, texts, mm. emails. We didn't do a whatever, a safety check. Because uh, we're not there yet, but you know he could be missing. I don't know. Maybe he's just sleeping in. You know he, he never just sleeps in. Well, we record this is morning. It's only ten a.m. right now. He could just have slept through his alarm. You know, there's no need to be worried. No. just yet. No, I don't think so. I think he's. I think it's. You think he's dead on. in the in his? No, apartment? I wouldn't say he's dead. I'm just saying I think something's going on. Really? Yeah. Like what? I don't know. You think he started doing drugs? Maybe heroin maybe he's hitchhiking maybe he's hitchhiking. i don't know what he's doing <laughs> is he hitchhiking know. no across? one's heard from him zolo or i'm sorry better nadav um, <laughs> i have not heard from him no no, no? okay See? better nadav is that his name for today i think so hmm yeah better nadav better nadav okay not here um gosh i hope uh, everything's all right I need so to. maybe he's in the hospital that's another though. That's another one we haven't done. We haven't called the hospitals. You're supposed to do that, I think, when you're when someone's missing. You call the jails. Oh gosh. You call the hospitals. I know he said he was into gambling. Do you think maybe he got his legs broken or something? From gosh, I would Shiloh? be so sad if that happened. <laughs> if he if he owed a debt that he couldn't pay and somebody. Because he really loves money and he gambling. He does love gambling. He loves gambling. Uh oh. Maybe he. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. God, I wonder what he's doing. Maybe right he's just sweating it out at a blackjack table somewhere. His addiction took over. I know that uh, they they have opened some casinos. I saw the saddest photos of just people at um, slots with masks on. <laughs> and they're just like... Smoking. Yeah, smoking <laughs> under the mask. <laughs> but oddly enough, I can see myself going that low in life. When I used to smoke, like I think... For me, that was the lowest because you just know you're killing yourself, but I enjoyed yeah. it so much. It feels good. Yeah. I miss it. I mean, I don't say I miss it, miss it, but I, I do feel like with... Uh, with um, Mr. Tom's with, farts with are so uh, powerful. Alcohol, <laughs> it's a fun thing, you know? Yeah, I liked smoking 
when I was drunk. That was probably my favorite. A beer and a cigarette. Oh fuck, bitch. Yeah. A lot of I liked it after a meal. That's true. That was a good one. I loved. I liked it, it post set. Yeah. Get I, off stage. Oh, it's the best. Cigarette. Light one up. That was a great one too. Or even before before a set was my favorite. Mm-hmm. I loved it when I was thinking. I loved it when I was nervous. I loved it. I just loved to smoke a lot. Yeah. And now I just replaced the habit. I just, now I feel feelings a little bit more. Sucks, right? It sucks, yeah. I like. know. Quarantine, we, we're talking about our stages of quarantine. Um, it's like stages of grief, I've realized. It kind of is. I mean, we had the, uh, let's see, there was the the fear stage of is the world ending? Well, hold, uh, no. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think everybody collectively. The shock of it all. But or, see, I went into hyperdrive. So like my stages personally, I can go through them, is like fear and anxiety. I already had the toilet paper on back order, so I felt good about that. Mm-hmm. I went into anxious food prep. I was cooking nonstop, and that's when I became <clears throat> quarantine wife. What's with the, the throat clearing? <clears throat> you know how much people hate hearing that? <clears throat> it's fine. No, they, no, 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 it's not fine. What should I do? I don't know. Why are you doing it, though? Because I had phlegm in there. But Why? What's causing it? I don't know. Coronavirus? What do you mean? I, just, I mean, you've done it a few times. I'm wondering if there's something causing it. No. Okay. You're going to interrupt my stages of quarantine? For that? for phlegm clearing? Yeah, it's worth talking <clears> about. <throat> <laughs> I mean, it's like four or five times now where you're like, and then... <laughs> that, so I'm just wondering if something's going on. That's all. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm, what, I'm, I'm I concerned think, uh, for you. Honestly, you know what I think it is? The caffeine what? is an expectorant. It brings up the phlegm. Aha. That's what I'm saying. There's the, there's okay, the so what did you do in the beginning of anxious and fear? How did you respond when everybody was like... It was an internal anxiety that, um, that like I... First, it was just an anxiety that I tried to quiet. So it was a low-level hum. You know, hmm, right. Where I was like, thing, bad things are happening. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore them. Hmm. Yeah. Like See, I, I do the opposite. I go to the world is ending. Everything's horrible. I need to get supplies. I need to. Pr- I need to make the world as safe as I can. I'm gonna prepare. I go. I go into like marine. Yeah. Because that's what I did. I was like, fucking, we're gonna we're gonna beat this. Yeah. I go crazy. Then what? So you 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 first you so you chose to ignore. Mm-hmm. is what you're saying kind of it's, you're just, tuning it's, not out. As, it's not tuning out it's it's not as bad as they're saying it is not all right yeah you did you diminished yeah. the, the yeah. danger then it was oh, it was kind of nice to have this kind of time off the from, euphoria from like the comp i would say the competitive world yeah like we, we're in a very competitive world it was permission to not compete because it wasn't even possible to compete yeah then it no but was, what behavior did that manifest in well, that was like, it was sort of like, I, uh, I don't know what to do with myself, I would say is one stage of it. Like, what do I do with myself? If I can't work at stand up, what, what can I work in? Then I found things to work in. So I put together a book proposal. You know, we were working on a, a, a development pitch. So it was like, put your energy into other creative things, podcasting. So it was like, that's find true. new places to work in because we snapped into action actually i remember when this first came down we were like we need to do a special ymh broadcast we need to broadcast from the bunker yeah and we wanted to to immediately get on here and tell everybody like it's going to be okay yeah yeah i remember that and then i i immediately went into cooking compulsively yes you did i was cooking different recipes from people around the world that i was mm-hmm. friends with and then that got into wig buying i immediately tra- i stopped cooking and then i bought wigs on amazon i had a shopping phase of quarantine I it think was we more all towards did. the beginning in the beginning i was i started to buy all type t-shirts pants shoes i bought a bunch of sneakers and they, <laughs> they kept arriving at the house week after week i was like what the fuck am i doing like why are they <laughs> like what you know then i realized that it was like a like a reaction to th- it wasn't like a necessity thing it was like yeah. doing something well, plus, like the package shows up so much later. Yeah. Than when you have everything's that. shipped late now. You order something, then a month later, I'm <laughs> like, like, whose shoes are these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm no longer in that yeah. state of mind. This doesn't feel as good anymore. To then get I the had package. a real like thing of uh, exercise because yeah. I um I actually had a fear of getting super fat in yeah. quarantine. Me too. And I know that people have, and I I know people who have gained weight. 
Me too. So I was too. like, I don't want to be one of those people. So I got on a meal plan and a workout plan, and I start. I got really into it. Um, then this, just the last weekend was terrible. Like the eating and drinking was, it was a bad yeah. weekend. I'm saying like- For food. For food and, and booze. I just felt like I went crazy. <sighs> yeah, because then I went in, after the wigs, I went into compulsive eating. Mm -hmm. like out, over, out of control and then compulsive drinking and eating on top of it so then i was like whoa i'm fucking the points right now mm -hmm. and then i went into etsy buying necklaces on etsy and then i went into buying 80 sweaters on etsy yeah and then i reigned in my eating and then i started exercising and eating better and then i would drink every night and yeah. i'm like why aren't i losing weight <laughs> you're like bert was kool-aid yeah, yeah yeah i was such an idiot and yeah. so now like I'm, I'm doing everything right but i'm having these Three glasses of wine. Or yeah, whatever. I'm such a dope. Yeah. And then now I'm like, um, I think I'm just tired. Like I'm tired of all the shit that I've been doing to right. not feel anxious. Right. I'm exhausted from being anxious. Same. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. You know who's not tired? Do you remember this guy from a few weeks ago? Um, he had this uh, thing about. I certainly got. Yeah. Something interesting in the meal today. <laughs> yeah, this guy's the best. Delta White. <sighs> custom mouse pad yeah he, this guy's amazing yeah 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 this guy's great what um, about him well he has a new video oh. about a different topic oh i didn't realize this topic could exist i'm pissed oh there he is the fuck off i'm getting comments on my videos <laughs> saying i'm rushing this i'm rushing that when i'm really actually jewish this is my jewish kippah it's a Jewish headwear. Jews put it on their heads. <laughs> I thought he was Russian. I thought he was Russian. Uh, <laughs> he's just, yeah, it's he's TikTok. interesting to actually see him. He's just talked, right? I don't know. I feel like um, he's also maybe not connecting something, <laughs> which is that uh, he could still be Russian. And Jew, a Russian Jew. Oh. He's like, people are saying, I'm rushing, I'm not, I'm a Jew. Right. <laughs> like, I mean, you could be Russian. Sure. And Jewish. Right. It's not like. It's not, they're not exclusive, mutually Sure. Exclusive. It's like yeah. if somebody was like, I'm not Chinese, I'm Jewish. I just happened to, I was born in Beijing. And you're like, yeah, no, you're still a Chinese Jew though. <laughs> yeah. Like, so are you suggesting that he may be Russian born and unaware of I it? I mean, I don't know if he's going to, I hope he addresses maybe his country of origin. This is my fucking Jewish talent. Oh, yeah. Jews put it on themselves okay. for prayer. Okay. So far. Mm -hmm. This is my fucking Jewish prayer book. Hebrew letters. My fucking Jewish prayer book has words in Hebrew and English. Okay. Oh, um, I don't know about if all the cursing is necessary to uh, like, I don't know why it has to be a fucking Jewish prayer book. And as opposed to this is my prayer book. And I don't need it. <laughs> you know who would really enjoy this? Uh, Nadav. I know, but he's a missing person. New Nadav. So, Do, are you enjoying this? Cause you too are Jewish. I am. Yeah. I love this guy. I think it's really cool. Do you <laughs> feel like that it's necessary to say that I'm not, people are saying I'm Russian, but I'm not, I'm Jewish. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense because he's definitely Russian. Um, Cause but, he is, right? Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> it seems like he doesn't like that. He doesn't so. like being, he doesn't like identifying as Russian. It's almost like he's fluid identity. You know, he has a Wait fluid a identity. Are you yeah. saying that he's trans? Transnational. Transnational. He's transnational. Have we just invented a new category of being? It's possible. Wait he's, a minute. I, don't, I just don't know why he so hates his mother tongue and, and origin. Dude, he's he's transnational. Yeah. It is isn't that a weird thing though? When somebody goes, I'm not I'm not from my country of origin, I'm my religion. And you're like, But that's a religion. You're still, you know, would identify as something. By no well, just by your country of origin, right? If anyone <sighs> posts comments on my videos saying I'm rushing this, I'm rushing that, I don't care if you fucking subscribe to me or not. I'll fucking block your ass permanently. 
Okay. Well, he's really not well, not you know, cool with that at this all. This brings up an interesting debate is that is his accent Russian or just retarded? Because maybe <laughs> he's just talked and he's got like a different accent and he's talked. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> is that a new game we can play? Russian or retarded? Okay. So there's another one that's kind of cool that he had. I paid $13 <laughs> for this mouse pad. <laughs> they have no posters of Delta White. Just these two fucking mouse oh, pads. <laughs> A double <laughs> dose of Delta for my mousey. Oh my god, he's so R worded. He he, he, he talk, so I realized that he just he enjoys the word fucking. Yeah. Because these are my fucking mouse pads. Yeah. This is my fucking Jewish prayer book. Yeah. This is my fucking kippa for my fucking head. And I'm not fucking Russian. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah. So he's just fired up. He's fired up. And maybe, like you said, the R word. So one thing I forgot um, to mention is uh, one of my my one of my ultimate my latest stages of quarantine. Yes, is that I'm really in to chiropractic videos on YouTube. Yeah, you know, and you've been watching these in secret. I watch uh, them. When do you all watch the this? time? All the time. Like when we're in bed together. I watch them in bed. I watch them like to wind down. Like get home. You know, when we get home today, I'm going to go downstairs, work out. And when I'm done, I might watch some of these for a while. That's so weird. Yeah. I, oh, um, God. Yeah. Oh, God. And it is, uh, I mean, I guess there's a, people are, you know, ASMR kind of thing. I don't have that, but it's like, I enjoy <laughs> the, uh, oh, yeah, Dr. Joseph Cipriano. I watch his stuff all the time. <laughs> uh, he's in, <laughs> is he in South Carolina? Um, yeah, I just, this is a compilation. <laughs> Sometimes I watch a full adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> so they come in, they check you out, right? They they see how you're standing. Oh, this shoulder's up right here. And they see obvious things. Then they lay you down. A lot of times this doctor and a lot of them will lay the, the feet next to each other and see that one is longer. than like, yeah. oh, your right side is two inches here. We're going to adjust your hips. And I find it very relaxing. I find yeah. it very relaxing to, to, I don't know. It's almost like you feel like it's happening to you. And you, yeah. you can identify with with the relief that yeah. the patient feels yeah and i also find it fascinating that these doctors um you know so understand the mechanics and the anatomy of the body like that's one of the fascinating things is they go oh you know how like your shoulder right here is like this it's actually because of something down here like they know how it's all connected i find it really interesting what does it take to become a chiropractor like, what do you have to do? Oh, wow, you really pulled that up quickly. Whoa, that was fast. Wow, new Nadav. Jesus. Better Nadav. Yeah, I would say can better Can you make that Nadav. bigger? Is there any way you can, like, increase the... Uh, Jesus, Solo, you just the... Googled that right now? Let's see. Dude, you're... A, see, millennial new Nadav is faster. And... Yeah. Okay, so... Jesus. Chiropractors must earn a doctor of chiropractic degree and a state license... Doctor programs typically take four years, damn, to complete and require at least three years of undergraduate college education for admission. Wow. Yeah, it's um it's pretty it's impressive. Like I love that they see you walk in and they're like, Oh, something's going on with yes. the, your C three. Yes. And they just they just you know, they watching know. them. Yeah. And you now, watch them but like these... they'll reach under, you see they reach under the patient and they're like Oh yeah, this is the tendon right here. And they just feel it immediately and then they work on adjusting that. I don't know. I find it very The videos give me anxiety. Really? Though. Well, because I've you know, I've been to a chiropractor and the whole time I'm like, Oh my god, is this when I get paralyzed? <laughs> Especially yeah, look at that. Yeah. I mean, how do they would, practice this crap? You know what I would like to do is maybe take our staff and adjust all of them for free <laughs> and <laughs> just see what the results are. And like then, I've watched plenty of videos. I kind of know yeah, what I'm doing. Like the 10,000 hours of practice. Yeah. Like then... I definitely can crack your guys' backs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not so confident in my ankle work, but I do feel like... <laughs> that one's the worst. I could, um, I could really work wonders on your necks. And then you know? we can get everybody free wheelchairs too. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like up first we should have Potter <laughs> so that if I make any mistakes, I feel like he'll be the most forgiving, you know? 
Like I'll get him a real cool chair, like the kind you can blow in to make it move. <laughs> and um, I'll get him one of those, uh, I'll get him one of those eye things where when he can look at the letter <laughs> and then the computer will be like, A, C, A. And that's how like, he talks to me. Christopher Reeves, was he down to, did he do that or he just did the... I don't know. He was real. He yeah. was really messed up. Yeah. Wait, but how do they practice their adjustment work? The kind of, I don't know. Like, do they literally take homeless volunteers or something? I don't think that's what like, they do. But who volunteers? You guys homeless? You want to get your backs cracked? <laughs> <laughs> no. But, but it's like, so maybe they have to be homeless. Homeless people are like Yoshis of the world that are like, oh, sure, right. whatever. I'll, you can... How much money um, am I making? $10? I, think, I just think there's a lot of supervision. Wait, I think hold that's on what though. it is. But can you get paralyzed from a bad chiropractor? I'm sure you could. You could, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so risky. Like, especially, you know which one I hate the most is when they do this one, Tommy. They go, one. okay, on the count of three, ready? One, two. Ah! And then they yeah. do that, and you're yeah. like. <laughs> that's how they do the next. The other thing the chiropractors like are always it. telling you, and they're like. I don't like that. Okay, let me do it. And they'll like oh, grab I hate something. That. And then they're like, okay, you're just let it go. Yeah. I've got you. <laughs> I'm in control. And then the person's still like, huh? and they're like, okay, you're, you're, you, you got to, I've got your arm. Okay. <laughs> I've got it. And they're like, okay. What's your favorite thing to crack? What do you like seeing them do the most? Um, I guess it's things that I want cracked on. Uh, I don't like it. Which so one? Back. Yeah. Lower, the lower one. Um, no, like the mid back feels like the best. <laughs> And then I like uh, I like the ankle ones where they they oh. do this thing where they put kind of like their their quads like their knees around your ankle like just above your ankle and then they pull back with their whole and then the you can hear the ankle pop like that. Ooh, I like it. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, um, I I was enjoying watching this woman clean um, her jar of jelly. She mm. she just wiped down the lip of the jar. And satisfying it, yeah i was like yeah. oh that feels really good inside yeah um, i don't do stuff like that in my personal life but i appreciate it when i see it um do you want to get into a couple of these emails real quick would love to so uh about a week ago we asked the question that we were desperate for answers for <laughs> um her yummy pussy uh, and that is <laughs> he's what's not. more tiring Getting pounded in the vag, yes, or pounded in the butthole. Now, I would now let's just to recap our positions here. Yeah. I would guess getting pounded in the butthole because you're flinching and you might be anxious about what's happening. I thought so too. <sighs> um, <laughs> it just depends on, um, I guess, on the person. So, are you ready for, yes, for this? yeah. Hey, mommies, Christina's points for why butt stuff would be more tiring makes sense if you're someone like her that's not into butt stuff. Not into it. But I'm not Christina. She sees the prep as a chore. I equate it to the excitement of getting ready for a junior high dance. Oh. Bracing and clenching would make you tired if you did, if you did but just relax, like Tom says. Anything is possible with lube. Christina's, v, Christina's V's contentment with I've been there, I've done that, is I'm is my I'm bored. Anal sex is like the excitement of running in the New York City Marathon mm. and being fucked in the pussy is like running around track at the YMCA. Oh, wow. I'm not as exa exhausted after because anal sex always gives me that NRE since it's a more <laughs> of a special occasion due to the preparation required. But if there's one thing I know about women and anal, it's that opinions vary wildly. Yes. So I'd love to hear from the other genes. And that's from Abby. So Abby oh, is okay. saying that because she loves it up the butt, uh, she doesn't find it exhausting. And that would make perfect sense for her because she likes the prep. She likes right. the 20 times uh, enema and yeah. and uh, dicks in her butt. So but Abby's different. got emotional problems and that's fine. Uh, that's her thing. Uh, let's see. I'm currently watching episode 558. And to answer your question on <laughs> butt fucking, it's way more tiring. I'm an escort have been for oh. years and can take a number of dicks on the daily and anal bookings are another level. It takes a lot out of you and I'm not exactly sure why, but I remember a day when I had a particularly heavy anal day and I was physically exhausted for a few days afterwards mm. to the point where I haven't done anal since. Wow. L. 
Uh, Elle is a, a woman. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was mm -hmm. a man or a woman. Yeah. So she's an escort. So by, uh, yeah, profession. So she's, she's getting it both yeah. in the vag and the rear. So she's, she's a great one to Yeah, but ask. But then again, it kind of goes back to Abby's point where it's a thrill for Abby and right. therefore not exhausting. Right. It's like when you're excited for the event, it's not, it's not tiring. Exactly. It's exhilarating. Because you're every, like when you, like when the average, let's say person goes, oh, but I got to like give myself the enema. Abby's going like, I get to give myself the enema. Yeah. I'm getting prepared for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Different. It is. Yeah. Uh, another email. After hearing your question last week, I talked to my wife since we butt fuck a lot, like once a <laughs> week, her answers, her answer was blow jobs are the most tiring. Wow. Butt fucking and vagina fucking are about the same. However, when I asked her to really make a call on it, she said vagina pounding is more tiring. Wow. The reason is because she only lets me put it in the butt when she's really excited about our sex. Mm. And the vagina can get dull if I'm going longer than she wants sex to last, but that does not happen often. Hope this helps Sam. Okay. Kind of goes back to the same point. If it's a thrill for you, why would it be exhausting? And much, much like Christmas, I love holidays and so decorating the house and getting things ready is exhilarating for me uh i enjoy that process should we continue down these emails? i love to hear this stuff okay. i love it um hello jeans recently watching the podcast you asked if one gets exhausted from butt sex i'm here to answer that question it is no mm. i personally prefer anal over vaginal the cleaning and preparation is not as exhausting as it seems you just need good lube uber lube is a personal favorite and a good partner. If you have a partner who knows what they're doing, you won't even need lube. It's also possible to achieve orgasm through anal sex. P.S. Keep feathering it. Emily, P.P.S. If you have any more questions, feel free to call or email. Oh, That's geez. Phone number oh, here. All you. right, Emily. I'm sure the so staff won't abuse that number. No. That's a few for butt sex not being tiring, which I mean, I'm, I'm shocked, frankly. That it's really impressive. Um, let's see one more here. I hope my insight can be aired on the show. Anal doesn't physically tire me out, but emotionally, it feels more aggressive and the orgasm is deeper. Very emotional afterwards. Kind of like how talking, kind of like how taking a difficult brown can drain you emotionally, but in reverse. I hope this makes sense and gives you a deeper perspective on the issue. Thanks for reading, Bethany. You, you know why, uh, now that I I just had a flash of insight, Gene. What's that? Like why I'm not really interested in anal is because brown is so yucky, caca poo poo, yeah. yuck yuck, that to put it anywhere in a sexual context for me is just impossible. But you don't have to have the caca there. You can you can take all the caca out. Right, but then I, I, I again to to prep by taking all the caca out, it still makes me feel like why am I taking why am I dealing with caca for for fun sex. Look, I don't like the caca involvement. I understand, and I think more to the point of these ladies that do. It's about what excites yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, no. What I do know. you love? What feels good? And obviously, you know, like they said, if you love what you do for work, you don't mm. have to work any then, a day in your life. If you don't like the weather today, wait until t tomorrow. So It'll be if, different. If you, if you, if anal. If you get if you like <laughs> anal, then you should never not do it because it feels good. <laughs> I think that's, uh, that's the old saying. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I. I oh, I'll make you come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> not me. He's the best. I'm trying to think. Um, you know, Bert is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah. And on Two Bears, you guys have really uncovered a lot of his hygiene. He doesn't brush his teeth until like midday. Can I tell you what's a what is crazy that I did not at all expect? And this is the truth. There was a number of people that were like, yeah, I also wait to brush my teeth. That is insanity. That is I insanity. Mean, and like some of them, like you look at their profile picture and they look like a seemingly normal person. And their argument was they're like, well, who brushes their teeth before coffee and they're like i'm gonna have breakfast why would i brush my teeth before breakfast and you're like so you wake up with morning mouth and you're like it's gonna kind of get my day started without <laughs> cleaning well, that up yeah the morning mouth taints the flavors of your breakfast uh, of and course. taints the flavors of your coffee and, you and can, bacteria has grown overnight oh, stop. In your, that's why your mouth oh, tastes like a dead dog's dick it's yeah. because you slept and that shit was just closed and now hey man how about if your if your whole thing is, 
I don't want coffee and mint. I got a wild idea. How about you rinse your mouth with a little water after you Just, brush it? Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe count to 10 and let it go away and then have coffee. See, if if old Nadav Jesus. were here, yeah. he probably would say, I don't brush until I'm, the afternoon. I am absolutely in fear to hear what his perspective is. Do you want is. to put money on it? Rest in peace, Nadav. <laughs> if yeah. Nadav is still alive, yes, I'm willing to bet money that he does not brush until like midday oh, too. What do you think? Let's put $50 it on it. Fucking, do, wait, do, what, time? what does this booth do? Do you guys brush and after be you honest. Yeah, be honest. Do you? Zolo, new Vester Snodoff. I brush in the first like 10 minutes probably. Yeah. 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 Same. Same. And he's clean. Josh, and no way. Chris? Oh, Chris for sure. Chris is a sweet I'll be honest with you. When I was younger, I definitely brushed midday. But I don't anymore because I grew up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That makes sense. Of course. I cannot believe this is like a, that this became even a discussion. Well, I knew somebody, and we've discussed this before on the show, but it still baffles me. They had a mother who wouldn't brush until the afternoon. I'm talking after lunch, after coffee, after everything. And they asked her why. And she was like, I don't like the minty taste of toothpaste. And they go, well, like, there's ma many flavors. Yeah, so there's not only one flavor. No, like if mint is your issue. Yeah, there's vanilla. I mean, the vanilla chocolate flavored. Yeah, there's you get a children's toothpaste. Bubble gum flavored. There's, there's cinnamon. A, there's like the neutral flavor ones, you know, yeah. like the Arm & Hammer. Yeah, that's crazy town. You don't have to be like, well, I just don't like mint. Great, don't buy mint flavored toothpaste. But I'm Stop being gross. Stop being gross. But I'm curious about how nasty Bert lets his... Junk everything get. Yet? yeah oh, everything everything do you think his dick and balls just smell better oh he doesn't oh. wear underwear yeah. never wears underwear so i got whatever sweat and funk and you, do you think he's like a thorough wiper no. like where he's like oh, i gotta make sure i bet I, I gotta make sure that paper is all white <laughs> uh. <laughs> no also he just start, he just started wiping with his hands what there what he figured it out like a few weeks ago where he ran out of toilet paper and so he used his finger to wipe and then he goes it's so like efficient and then i just wash my hand afterwards i like a fucking yeah <sighs> you know i hear they do that in the middle east that they wipe with their hand that's why you serve with the what is it there's a saying they use right 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 they wipe you with shake their... with your left hand because you wipe with your right yeah that's, so it's that's, uh, not culturally I don't know if that's even true uh, it, we on the Middle East, they told me not to. Did I get the Tristan email? I have it, mommy. Oh, okay. Let me read it. Oh, what is that about? Wait, but ha let me just talk that from personal perspective. How nasty have you let yourself gotten and then gotten with a chick? I remember one time that I missed out on sex. <laughs> that was like no, right there. <laughs> I, I remember when I missed out on sex one time. Was, was uh, but this was like kind of, this, I mean, it's, it's not exactly the same thing, but <laughs> so there was this girl, I was a sophomore and we we had, there's different housing, like freshmen we lived in dorms. Sophomore year, you can move to this um, these buildings that that are like condo units almost, and they're in a, in a like in a plaza. And so across the plaza, this girl lived, and I I met her, and she was like kind of wild child, like mm. you know what I mean. She you was, like those skanks, you really. She do. wasn't a skank, oh, but. She wasn't a nice girl. Well, that's what I'm saying. Um, like you like sluts. You like girls that put out and they shit out. No, I mean, I just, she was just, whatever. She was uh, she was nice. She was kind of, um, you could tell she was kind of a, a wild child a little bit, you know? So we we hung out and uh, I think we went, we had dinner and then we're back and she goes, come, you know, come up to my place and I go over to her place <laughs> and it's getting late. Like it's late and we have, we do have class tomorrow. We have uh I think tests or something and I just feel um I feel diarrhea <laughs> like coming you know oh, like my stomach going like, and I, you can feel it in your gut so like this is a bad one yeah and she's like getting comfortable in the bed and I was like I gotta you know there could have been I could have been like I'm gonna use your bathroom but I was like I know what no this is gonna way be. so instead of being like I'm gonna shit and come back or I gotta grab something <laughs> I was just like I'm gonna go back to my place I gotta I got an early morning, you know, because this is only like the first time we went out or second yeah, time. Yeah. I was like, there'll be more opportunities. Yeah. So I went back and here's the thing. I <laughs> shit so loudly and so badly <laughs> that it was a, 
It was a uh, shared bathroom <laughs> between. <laughs> it was like our bathroom, my roommate and I, and it's a the bathroom is in the middle, the shower and the and the toilet, and then there's a another. Uh, two guys live on the other side, so you share that bathroom. Oh. They, they came. They knocked on the door, and they're like, "What the fuck's going on in there?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And they're like, "What is that?" <laughs> and I was like, "I'm taking a shit." And they're like, "That's coming out of your ass." They thought like something had broken in the bathroom, <laughs> and then I looked down. It was just all black, and it was. It just, was not. Yeah, it was. It was. Why was it black? I don't know. That's dried blood, babe. Well, maybe it was blood, okay. but it was. Uh, it was so but here's the thing it was Oof. so intense yeah it was like that girl was describing like it was so intense yeah that i, w I felt emotional afterwards yeah, yeah i know you're talking about. and i was like because <laughs> i was thinking of do i go now do i try to go back to her place no way no no i was like this is way too crazy and i also yeah. don't know if there's a second wave coming so <sighs> yeah i had to take a shower and i was like oh my god it was and <laughs> the sex was right there i mean it was waiting um but and then now here's the thing so it never came to fruition with that girl Aww. and then like a year later not even maybe nine months later i was back in that area early for the next year of school and she and she was at a party and she'd already had a kid <gasps> so she got pregnant be between that time yeah yeah could have been your baby and another girl who i uh this is not a gross thing, but another girl that I was like making out with and blah, blah, blah. And didn't, uh, like I didn't go, f like I was, you know, she was like, oh no. And I was like, uh, all right, fine. She went to a different school. And the next time I asked about her, which was a while later, they were like, oh, she's had a baby. Damn. I always think about those, like that would have ruined, those are life ruiners. Could have been you, dude. Life ruiners. Yeah. I would have been like 18, 19. Yeah, it's easy to do, oh my God. Yeah. You know, one time in college, my freshman year, I took dieter's tea. Have you ever taken that? Mm -mm. Hmm. Do you know what it does? Makes you go caca? Yeah, and I didn't know that. I just thought like, oh, it's a diuretic. It'll make you pee or something. And I drank it all day. It was a Friday night. And we walked from, our, from the campus to our friend's house, which was like a 15-minute walk in San Francisco, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then um, it, we're drinking beers, drinking beers, and then I was like, fuck i have to really shit and it was like a party and everybody was there and you know like it was one of those doors that was kind of loose you know like anybody could still walk in and i shit so violently violent shit it's like dieters tea makes you violent shit and i was like fuck i can't like i i'm so embarrassed all like these guys were there and i looked really cute that night and stuff and you're like i just took a big shit yeah guys. like how am i supposed to hide this and what'd like, you do well, that's the thing. I was afraid I wouldn't make it for home for the walk home, you know? So I had a few more rounds of diarrhea at this house. I would just go drop heat and then like walk around and pretend to be okay. Hi. Yeah. And yeah. then and then I eventually walked home when I felt like the waves had passed. But it was brutal. I was afraid I would flood their toilet. I flooded toilets at parties before too, shitting. Yeah. It's devastating. It's a really neat story. You got it. <laughs> So, um, can I read Tristan's email? Yeah, sure. What's it about? I get to this. Uh, this is funny. So, hi, mommy Tina. I can relate when you talk about finally coming to the revelation that you can buy two chargers. Remember, we, yeah. we only had one phone charger, thing. or can install a mini fridge in your bathroom. My wife and I came to a similar game changing revelation. Uh, hold on to your tick cups and cue up the cat eating kibble. My wife and I do not share our sheets. We each have our own sheet slash blanket in bed and never have to worry about fighting for bedding in the middle of the night, keeping our jeans high and tight. I mean, mm. what do you fucking feel about that? What do you mean? I mean, don't you think that's like one step before divorce town? No, it's just, it's so uh, unorthodox to me. It just is, it more, it more stands out to me as just strange because I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, how do you have other sh separate sheets? Oh, they might have two twin beds. They I mean, can it's push just strange them together. To it's strange to me. I don't think of divorce. I just think like, oh. oh, wow, I've just never heard of that, you know? I know I've never heard of people having two separate blankies. No. But I do feel like that then it hinders your intimacy because then I can't reach over and be like, I touch yeah. you and stuff, you know? Uh -huh. I like that. 
Yeah. I don't mind stealing your blankies. No, I know. <laughs> I know. You don't even sleep on. You sleep on top of them. No, I have the blanket over me. Oh, I like you like it, it nice me. and cold. I'm I like a cool room with a blanket over me. Yeah. That feels good. That's Anyways, I, I thought that was an interesting idea. And if you yeah. don't love your spouse, sure, go ahead and do that trick. If you don't mind being divorced in it's, a few years. It's, <laughs> it's very, Why it's not interesting. sleep in separate rooms too, yeah. Tristan? Separate beds. Oh, that really bothered you, huh? Well, it's just, you know, practical, but not romantical. It's definitely not romantic, but I don't know. Speaking um, of, do, do you mind if I bring up Dirty Dancing for a minute here? No, go right ahead. Well, I watched Dirty Dancing for the first time since I was a little girl, and it's mm -hmm. such a fucking dumb movie. And can I, I haven't tell seen you, it in 20 years. Well, the premise is, baby, this nice Jewish girl, they go to a camp or whatever, the family, Yeah. and she hooks up with like the dancer gigolo yeah. right under her nice daddy's nose. I am... A fucking jewel. Yeah. yeah okay. And the whole movie is her just rubbing it in her sweet dad's face that yeah. she's like the town whore. Yeah, I don't I don't like that that whole I, thing. I either. don't like it either. I don't like that. I mean you're she's lucky enough to have this great family and she's like, I love Johnny Daddy and Daddy he's a dancer and just because he's not like you, it's like, well no, you misled your dad. There's also a thing where Johnny, they thought, he dad thought that Johnny knocks up one of the dancers, mm -hmm. but he misleads him to think that's the case. Do you know what I'm saying? Johnny doesn't stand up for himself and say, I didn't knock up that girl. Yeah. So the dad doesn't like Johnny. Why doesn't he speak up for himself? I don't fucking know. And it bothers me the whole time. Yeah. I hate that fucking movie. I hate it. You and just watched it. Yeah. I, yeah. I really, it, it upset me. Oh. The whole time I'm just furious that someone has a nice family and they're just being cunts about it, you know? Mm. I would kill for a, a a sweet family like that who didn't torture me. Yeah, it would have been nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just to. I know it's it's always like that though that the um the person with the nice family setting goes fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? I don't know. I don't know why that happens. <sighs> um, this is kind of interesting. This video I haven't seen it, but the topic. Um, here, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Absolutely. We all have different sexual and romantic orientations. <sighs> I am demi and polysexual. Poppins is polysexual in the opposite direction in that I am not sure I like women and Poppins definitely doesn't like men. Have you seen this? Dude, my brain just exploded. Thorn is asexual and not sure about um, if or who they like romantically. Vic is arrowways. Red doesn't know, but yet, but is pretty sure that when she grows up, she's going to like girls. So huh? this individual has uh, multiple personalities. So they're uh -oh. listing off <laughs> not just the personalities, but the preferences and the, uh, uh -oh. the gender preferences and the identities of these different personalities. Can you Google that? Dissociative identity disorder. Solo dissociative identity disorder. He yeah. just Googled it already. Oh, that was really fast. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It's a rare condition in which two or more distinct identities or personality states are present in and alternately take control of an individual. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this person's got a lot going on. A lot. Elizabeth is bisexual. <laughs> um... Rylan is a baby. Oof. Pigeon is pansexual. Um, we are all different. Wow. That's a lot to take on. That's a lot. That is really quite a lot, yeah. Huh. Um, pretty impressive. Pretty interesting. You know, um, I, that video didn't make sense until you said she's got multiple personalities. And then, they. I'm sorry, they have multiple personalities. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Which yeah. is crazy that that's the clarifying thing. Sure. Yeah. And oh, there's a lot of personalities. I mean, well, they listed at least 10 names. At least. And I, I didn't understand those different sexualities. They listed a few I'd never heard of. Pretty exciting stuff. Sure. Congratulations to you and everybody that lives inside of you. Um, also, Demisexual. a huge update from... Woo! Tommy oh Jones. Oh, my God. I just said demisexual and Zolo brought it up. Yeah. You mean... Better in a dog. Oh my God. That is a sexual orientation where people only experience sexual attraction to folks that they have close emotional connections with. In other words, demisexual people only experience 
sexual attraction after a emotional bond has been formed. I feel like that is so lame. Oh, that's me. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Well, I've never had like a one night stand. I'd have been, I have, I, I need to have an emotional connection with somebody before I can let them put their peener inside of I me. I feel like a demisexual just means female. Yeah, I think so. Too. Wait, but there's no such thing anymore. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't think, I mean, it's, I, th- I bet you that's way more rare with men. Where they're like, well, I just don't feel sexual attraction. I agree. I feel like demisexuality is like, yeah, chicks. Yeah. Stupid fucking chicks. Chicks are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whether you're new to the gym or you've been lifting weights for years, it's hard to find the right workout program and stick to it, which is why I love FitBod. FitBod is a smart fitness app that takes all the guesswork out of planning your workouts. FitBod's algorithm factors in your goals, experience level, equipment, workout duration, and muscle recovery to intelligently craft the perfect total body workout program just for you. With each workout, the app learns your abilities and plans workouts designed to maximize your results. And by cycling new exercises into the mix, FitBod keeps your workouts fun and fresh. And you know what I love about FitBod, Gene? You don't need to have a fancy gym full of equipment. You can do it with no equipment even. They have uh, so many wonderful workouts to choose from. Get a personalized fitness plan that helps you work out smarter at fitbod.me slash mom. Try FitBod for free for one month when you sign up today at fitbod.me slash mom. That's one month free when you sign up at fit bod.me slash mom this episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by quip my absolute favorite you probably have a lot of things now that are delivered right to your door it could be food it could be toys it could be a hose it could be a wrench it could be anything it's all delivered which is so convenient and it helps you to you know not have to just leave the your home what's even more impressive is when something arrives on a regular scheduled basis like new brush heads for your beautiful, incredible uh, Quip toothbrush. Brushing our teeth is super important. Obviously, 70, 75% of us use old, worn out bristles that are ineffective, and even more people forget to floss daily, which is horrible. This is an electric toothbrush that has ta- time sonic vibrations paired with Quip's anti uh, cavity toothpaste. They have wonderful flavors and incredible design. We're huge, huge fans of our Quips. Uh, you can join over 3 million happy customers and practice good oral care easily and affordably with Quip starting at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash mom, right now you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at get, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash mom. Quip, the good habits company. So um, <sighs> our boy, feelings. Tommy Johns. <gasps> no, like dead ass though. Take your overs. Um, you ready for the update? Oh my God, I love him. Yeah. Oh, I hope he's okay. Let's see how it is. I just want to say, dead ass, the reason why I'm wearing this fucking yellow fucking weird thing <laughs> is my ass is going to be doing community service for the state of Utah. Woo! <laughs> I got a DUI, baby. You. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't <laughs> celebrate them like that, but no. that's exciting. Congrats, Tony. Always Anyways, positive. I just want to say, if you guys see me up on the freeway picking up trash and all this bullshit, <laughs> feel free to honk your horn. You know, feel free to say, hey, Tony Jones, ladies man, out the window, <laughs> and I'll wave back. Yeah, let me finish that one for you, Tony. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, looks like Tony didn't take his own advice. Take your Uber. That's right. Well, that's why you got a DUI. It's kind of silly. But I, I appreciate that he shouldn't drink and drive. Don't do it. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but he's furthering his PSA message. Yeah. Like he's showing us how bad it is now, which is great. It's great. Tommy it really Johns. Great. Tony um, Johns. Tommy I Johns. missed him. And I'm glad to see he looks better. The last time he was a little strung out on something. Who knows what it was. And now he's back. Um. Yeah, he's he's doing much better now. Um. Also, this is one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. Okay. Uh. Obviously, we're huge, huge advocates of uh of Robert Paul Champagne. He's in my building. Try it out. <laughs> and he has gone to great lengths to share his 
home address with the world. <laughs> okay, he's, he's told everybody many, many times what it is. I'll check it out. Uh, um, and because of that, you can type in <laughs> Shut up. his address in uh, Google, and a lot of people have left reviews for his address. Stop it! Like I didn't know this had happened. Stop it. I, I discovered this accidentally. But you type in his address. 2395. And this is about his address. It's just I'm looking for a lease in the keys. Anyone home here now? Hey, guys, I'm a local guy. I can provide you with relevant tips to improve your Google Maps experience. If you'd like to try it out, try it out. Try apartment 2C. That's if you type in 2395 Wagner Houses. Um, notice a big uptick in the gang XCOM presence. Not that I'm complaining. Also, Bird is fat. People giving... Like fucking five star reviews to that address. Uh, my neighbor kept bringing shady looking people around, posting obscene uh, videos on the internet. The uh, the amenities are nice though. Um, it's just like so many. Uh, what is this? Oh, it says it more. Okay. Um, anyways, there's tons and tons of because these aren't actually the ones that I uh, sent him. I'm not surprised that. Um, that uh oh, Nadav didn't do that correctly. This is his failure. Yeah, this is not even the ones that. Um, oh, that's upsetting. Yeah. Ugh. Well, now I want to find him so we can berate him for his failure as a producer. Yeah. I don't think new. But these are literally none of the ones that oh, I saw. Oh well, new Nadav would never let that happen. Yeah, I don't know why. Like he literally picked the dumbest that I sent. ones. Yeah. It's so weird. Maybe Zolo could uh, Google 2395 Wagner Houses, apartment 2C. There it is. And then there's there's reviews. Th there you go. <laughs> That's what I sent him. 4.9 stars. Right. And then you can read reviews. Oh. God, this was so fucking easy to do. See, these are the reviews. <laughs> Very good place to try new things out. Robert was warm and friendly. At the end of our first night's stay, Elise and the key were presented to us with Robert's full blessing to stay as long as we would like. And you scroll down, Elise and the key, that's mostly what you got to know, but Robert is so <laughs> much more. Keep going down. Amazing fresh warm drinks. I was homeless for a bit and got locked up as <laughs> soon as I got out of jail. Robert gave me a free Elise and the key. Hit see all reviews. And scroll, scroll. Oh my God. I mean... This is what I'm talking about. This is so great. Dude, do you realize on Google, look, Robert Paul Champagne, that's his house. Like he's got a right. pin drop a pin or drop whatever there. the fuck. It was a nice apartment, but the <laughs> dude refused to put pants on. Other than that, I couldn't complain. My favorite one is here from Ryan. I was told if I wanted to move in, I could move in. Not sure what I was missing, but I was only met with expecting looks. Weird vibe. <laughs> and you keep going. And there, this, yeah. Now, how he put this in the folder when I was se I sent him this. See, I wish he were here and still alive, just so I could verbally berate Nadav for prepping. Have we this tried incorrectly. calling him? No, call the LAPD. Okay. Yeah. This is amazing, you yeah. guys. Well, keep up the good work. Do you work. see new Nadav? How that was fucked up? Like this is what I sent him, yeah. and then this is what I got. Yeah. It's a fucking disaster. Just the worst. Um, here's the other thing I wanted to send you. Uh, oh, our buddy, the fucking, the best, our boy. Um, Imagine a pig with tits. Mm. Norm got a new tattoo. You're kidding. Do you know this? No. <gasps> Side of the head. Wow. Can you see what it is? It's a, it's a dog no. eating a chicken. Close. A pig eating a chicken. Eating a rooster. What's another word for a rooster? I know. A cock. Oh, you got it. Pigs eating cock. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? That is and really cool. New face tattoos oh. with the eyebrows. Are those ladybugs? Oh, yeah. oh, he got his eyebrows tattooed on, and then are those ladybugs? I can't tell. Can you see what they are? In between his eyes. Like at I the at the inner edge here. I think they're little pig snaps. Oh, little pig snaps. Oh, yeah. adorable. Very cool. Good, Norm. Looking good. Yeah. I like the tattoos actually. I like the the eyebrows. Yeah. Pig looks good. Little touch up there yeah. on the OG tat. And that's, uh, I'm sure, the same guy that we spoke with um, did that. Oh, so looks happy. Great. Yeah. That's really great, man. 
Good for him. He's enjoying his retirement. Yes, and he's been doing uh, face the face app uh, so you can oh. see him as a woman. Oh, he looks lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Norm. Sissy pig, Norman Summerton. Wow, he actually, that, that face app thing really looks yeah. effective on him. Yeah. I didn't know that the um, on his stomach, some of that discoloration is from cigarette burns. Oh, yeah. I did not notice that either. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Congrats on all that, man. Wow. Transformations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's really going full throttle, you know? Yeah, he really is. It's He's not living half a life. It's no. a full life. He really does it hardcore. Uh, by the way, you know that closing song that people flipped for? Fart Simpson did it with, um, well, he put the song together. They made a music video with, um, with Mr. Clavicles. What? And the video... I'm sure they've posted it. They should have posted it on Twitter because that's where it can can live. But I'll, I'll just give you a little taste of it here. Um, it's an it's unbelievable the video. Big black cocks, big black fucking cocks, big, big, big black cocks. Rape is hard, dick baby. Big, 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 big Look at this. Cocks, big black this we could show so far. We could show this, right? Come fuck me, motherfucker. Ride my ass like a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you want to fuck me? I want to fuck you. We're going to fuck you up. Ride my ass. Wow. Maybe not that part. Yeah. Look at that guy. Yeah. Let's fuck. Oh, you like it, huh? Yeah. Hey. Like the fuck come my face, man. Cocksucker cowboy, motherfucker. Wow. I got that with my fucking whole boy. <laughs> Motherfucker's hot, man. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. Go team, go, <laughs> man. Use his fucking gold, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Let's fuck, baby. Officer, come dump here, man. Right, take my fucking body, man. Fucking fuck it up, man. Give me, give me a corn, boy. <laughs> this man, ooh, this man, ooh, this fucking goddamn dick, man. Yeah. Hello? Hey. What's up? Yo, Josh. Who is this? You want to pop champagne? <laughs> you want to pop champagne? Yeah. Call you Mr. Little Mr. Noodle Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got to tear those tits off, man. Yeah, burning my tits. <laughs> what about your tits? Smoking, stroking, man. When I burn my tits, man, I'm a real man. I could take it. That's good. good. Whatever brings you joy, you know? Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I come to fuck that fucking hole, man. Don't get pissed on me. I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna puke on me. You wanna sit, you wanna shit, shit in my chest and jerk me up with your shit? What? Motherfucker, <laughs> licking your nuts, licking your sacks. You wanna milk my dick? <laughs> How big's your dick? Um, um, I'm gonna come. Yeah. <laughs> go team, go. Okay, bye. I'll oh, come. I'll oh, come. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. I mean, come on. That's oh my God. fantastic. Thanks for all the come, Rob. Uh, what a great duo. So that's uh, Fart Simpson and Mr. Clavicles. That wow. is just the perfect song and video. Um, if you guys want to see it in full, like I said, we should, we'll try to provide the link to where they've posted it on social media because I'm sure YouTube would not be fond of it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the, the gentleman in the white costume. Yeah. That you was like my that? favorite one. Yeah. Well, how would you describe his clothing? <laughs> it was like a, a cowboy, and then he had a, a veil on his dong. Yeah. It was super long. A too. dick cover. A dick cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the purple dick cover was crazy, yeah. though. They're pretty long, too. Yeah, they're so long. Yeah. You think that's all real meat in there? No. I think there's a little extra clothing there. You meat, know? Yeah, attachments. A little, little extra meat covering. Yeah. But, you know, there's still some meat in there. There's still meat, but yeah. it can't be that semi-hard all the time, right? Like, you'd have no, to stay yeah. semi-erect. Yeah. You'd have uh, to be blessed, as they say. Yeah. Hashtag. Hey, I, I was at the, I was getting a Botox injected into my face. Uh-huh. And uh, my uh, surgeon, plastic surgeon was saying that they can put fat now on men's penises to make it fuller. Oh, I'll do that. Really? Sure. When? Oh, I I'll, can make an appointment for you. Oh, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Great. Make I'll the call. call. I'll call her up. By the way, we can't go without, um, before we break here, without pointing out that uh, I feel like we really opened people's eyes when we had Pierce on here. Oh, my God. Um, people have absolutely <laughs> flipped. 
about him putting his balls in his ass and talking to us about it. And um, yeah, so somebody <laughs> said, uh, hey, uh, Tom and Kristen, I was intrigued by your balls in the ass clip. I decided, to, I decided to give it a shot. Despite having a pretty good hang, I was unable to stretch them far enough back for insertion. I did, however, mm -hmm. press them into my taint rather firmly at times, and not surprisingly, it hurt. Uh, if you can get your balls in your ass, what else are you putting up there? Dave in Toronto. Mm. Well, Pierce has put a lot of things up there. He has, and, and you and I were talking about Pierce a lot uh, yeah. after we met him. And one of the things I was, it was so funny because I go, we were talking about him in the car, and I go, it's interesting that he could put his dick in his butt, but not at the same time as his balls. Those go to either side. And you were... You were like, yeah, duh. What'd you think? Yeah, of course. Like you, you were like, that was the stupidest thing I'd ever fucking said. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't know what he can stuff in there because he gets butt fucked with his balls, his own balls. By the in way, his ass. So that's the thing that I have not stopped telling people um, who have asked me about him. And the la they're like, you know, <laughs> oh my god, you met him. And I was like, yeah. Do you realize that he's put his balls in his ass and then been fucked with his balls inside? And I see people's. <laughs> faces just kind of go like like they don't know even how to react they're like i didn't yeah no one had ever floated this idea to me before it's no just, i've never thought of it but then you you were almost uh, angry with me at the suggestion that he couldn't do both his balls and his dick yeah i yeah. mean it's not it's completely possible and i i I throw the challenge to you pierce if you can get your balls and your dick in there maybe i mean that's a pretty He'd have to put the nuts in first, and then comes the dick. Okay, well, you heard the challenge. <laughs> it's what like an you, ice what bucket challenge. What are you made challenge. of? I feel like you're, uh, you, you just said, like, hey, Michael Jordan, <laughs> I don't think you can drop 50 this game. What's up? <laughs> and Pierce is going to be like, oh, you don't think I put my dick and my balls in my ass at the same time? <laughs> okay, that's all I need to hear. I just need to hear somebody doubt me. Well, he did start the butthole challenge. Why can't yeah. he start... Uh, the balls in your asshole challenge. That's Let's a great see point. how many guys out there can do what Pierce can do. Not That's many. a very good point. Okay. Um, we'll take a quick break and great. we'll be right back. And we're back with everybody's favorite comedian, friend, streetwalker. Lover. Everyone's friend? Everyone's friend. Wow. The sweetest guy we've ever met Aww. in our whole entire life, Josh Potter. <laughs> That's so nice. What a nice intro. It's been a minute. How are I you have some very up? pressing YMH news. You do? Um, yeah, and I mean, I also have news about Nadav too, actually. Oh, what's oh. that? Uh, well, I called the LAPD. I was in the lobby. I heard you guys talking. I didn't know he was missing. You know, I haven't seen him in a while myself. So then I just, I made a report. And uh, they said they'll, you know, they'll look at, you know, I described him. And I was like. Wellness he's... check. That's what it's called. Right, they right. Check on him. Check. I was like, yeah. you know, he's. Red haired, he's bigger, a Jewish fella. Mm -hmm. We'll be on. Can you be on the lookout? You know, yeah. Because I haven't seen him in weeks. Oh, cool. So, oh, weeks. Yeah, I mean, I haven't. I haven't seen you guys in weeks either. But, right. You know, so I didn't know where he was. So I made a report. Uh, but also more pressing, I think, for the YMH world is uh, this just dropped hours ago. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that we might be banning TikTok in the United States. What? Yes, I'm sorry. I knew I was going to devastate you. Wait, what are you talking about? Because, because they're spying on us? Because yeah. the Chinese are spying on us and collecting data? Yeah. But I, I mean, this is what it. happens when you fuck with Daddy Trump's rallies. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, is the consequences. Right. You know, you have the, you, you fuck with his rallies. <gasps> you don't get your dances anymore. Well, wow. Oh, what the fuck? Can you imagine if TikTok, the greatest source of information and entertainment that has ever come into our laps becomes banned in the United States. Who's the real Chinese here? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Well, it's really Put devastating. Your mind in a pretzel. Because this is my direct pipeline to psychos. Usually, you have to wait for them to upload a video to YouTube, and then if they can do that, this is like direct access to really troubled. Did you put people. in that? Um, oh. Hold on, may I plug the video I did of uh, YMH Studios? I did a, yeah. a tutorial video, so you think you can talk, and yeah. I walk you through my methods of 
curating. So you too can curate a feed as pure and as wonderful as mine through this video. Right. Uh, if we get to keep the app. I mean, geez, I'm devastated. It's pretty. They're scared that China has your information. Are you scared uh, mm -hmm. that China has your information? I mean, they've got a video of a guy shoving nuts up his butt. Yeah. That's the information they got from That's me. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, well, are we going to delete all the apps that they stole our information on? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, maps. Right. Yeah, <laughs> and like things like that. My banking app, but yeah, so that's tough. Oh, uh, that's really sad. Yeah, but that's what happens, you know. Maybe India, uh, India banned TikTok. They banned it. Looks like it. That's what it. What? They have some of the greatest. You're some of your best talks are from, from India. India. What right? am I gonna do? Ready? The wedding videos. You want the information? Oh, yeah. India's government banned nearly sixty Chinese mobile apps, including TikTok, citing national security concerns after a deadly clash between their militaries this month. While India has vowed to retaliate, it lags far behind China in military and economic power, leaving it with few options. But Chinese telecommunication and social networking companies have long eyed India's giant market and its enormous potential. About 50% of India's 1.3 billion citizens are online. Chinese apps were stealing and surreptitiously transmitting users' data in an unauthorized manner to servers which have locations outside India. Damn. Yeah. It's on its way. It's on its way. Say goodbye. You got to find a new app. What am I going to do? I let's move on to something more uh, uplifting, uplifting, oh, thanks, and happy. Josh. Some no, anti-Semitism. I'm going to start. Oh, oh yeah. Great. I thought. Uh, have, have you seen Deshaun Jackson? You know, a lot of athletes are doing activism right now. It's a time for that. Yeah. You know, being in quarantine. That's their stages of quarantine. And so Deshaun Jackson has decided to share. Explain. To the listener who Deshaun Jackson is. He's a wide receiver who has reunited with the Philadelphia Eagles. He started his career there, and now he's back on the team, coming back for one last go around. And, um, you know, he's been on a lot of their, their very well-performed teams. I mean, he was on the team in 2013 when... It's a real nice headline. <laughs> yeah. It's a great headline. I mean, I can't see it, but, but I'm sure it's uh, it states what I'm about to tell you. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, he was posting a lot of quotes from Louis Farrakhan, mm -hmm. who is noted uh, anti-Semite and homophobic yeah. uh, person, leader of the Islamic nation. And uh, people were like, hey, that's a lot of those quotes seem uh, anti-Semitic there. And he was like, listen, I don't have any hate for anyone. And then he was like, how can I really hammer home that I don't have any hate for Jewish people? Uh, he, so he say, thought, I'm a quote Hitler. Oh, <laughs> so that's uh, really? the way that he doubled wow. down. Yeah, he thought he would quote Hitler, and this is what the quote was. It turns out, Jesus. It, it turns out Hitler didn't even say it. Come, oh. uh, but oh. but the quote was. Uh, but he thought Hitler said but, it. But yeah, he attributed it to Hitler. Mm. That was what he uh, assumed said it. And uh, the quote is, uh, the Jews will blackmail America. They will extort America. Their plan for world domination won't work if the Negroes know who they are. Hmm. Adolf Hitler. Oh, huh. So that was how he was and like. And then he was like, now I don't have what? any love for. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> checkmate. Okay. Yeah, so that's like, I just like to picture him at home <sighs> being like. How can I prove I like Jewish people? I'm a quote Hitler. Let's see where those. Are. Let's see how those jersey sales are doing. <laughs> yeah. But this is what's happening now. People are retroactively canceling Riley Cooper. I remember that because in 2013, another receiver for the Eagles, Riley Cooper, who looks like his name sounds yes. uh, like a fucking American flag off a Chevy. Yeah. He had truck. a tied one on. <laughs> he had a little a Kenny Chesney concert. Yeah. So yeah, then he called a security guard uh, N word. And, uh, and he said, it was "I'll on a fight video. every n-word here." Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what he yeah, said. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Oh wow, and that so, was in 2013, right? Wow. And now people are like, "You're racist if you cut Deshaun Jackson for being racist." Oh right, because you, you didn't, didn't cut, cut Riley Cooper, Cooper for being racist. So you're actually racist if you cut Deshaun Jackson for being racist. Oh, I think boy. it's important to note that didn't Riley Cooper go to the University of Florida? He was on that Tebow team, yes, with Aaron Hernandez, and and I only point that out because. The Gators behave this way. I mean, that so, team was full of menaces. Yes. Let's be fair. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, menaces. there were a yeah. lot of fucking. I mean, Aaron menaces. Hernandez. Oh my god, <laughs> he murdered a few people. Uh, who? There was other criminals on that team that I can't even fucking think of right now. Yeah, but yeah, it was an, a pretty they gross had a squad, team. but they got that ring. Hey, yeah. <laughs> they got a couple. <laughs> yep. But in the sports front, I thought this was uh, applicable because yeah. um, one of my favorite baseball bloggers mm -hmm. wrote a blog entitled um, 
Look at this fat fucking piece of shit, Pablo <laughs> Sandoval. Jared Carabas wrote this blog. Really? And uh, it's because this picture leaked. You have the picture there, that picture that I noted for you. He's <laughs> so big. Jesus. And his, you know, that Pablo is Sandoval big, is a veteran. Big, big. He's stomach. always had issues with weight. But I mean, that is a, that looks like he's got like triplets in there. Yeah. He's been fat for a long time. And uh, I mean, I've given you some other photos uh -huh. uh, as evidence. But, but wait, that doesn't seem fair that you could be called an athlete and look like that, right? Well, that's my question to you as a, per and we, we have Tom here who is a product of positive fat shaming. Yeah. Uh, my Jared <laughs> Carabas, the man who wrote this blog is starting to, people are clutching their pearls saying like, how dare you fat shame Big Panda, that's his name, Big Panda. Uh, but this man has actually, uh, the reason he didn't sign with the, f the <laughs> like San Francisco it. Giants when he had his contract up the first time around, he won three rings with, or three uh, World Series with them. Yeah. He went to the All-Star game twice. They wanted to re-sign him, but they wanted to put a fat clause <laughs> in his contract. Like, mm -hmm. you can't gain X amount of weight. And he was like, I'm never going to be able to do that. So he went to the Red Sox who didn't put a fat clause in uh. and then he got super fat. I mean, I have another picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, so he's had these weight issues for quite some time, but Hey, I say, God bless him. He's made so much fucking money as a fat piece of shit. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like in this regard, but, and there's another story in that blog uh, that he would fill his Gatorade bottles with Coca-Cola <laughs> and then cramp up a few innings in and have to come out. And so it makes me ask you the question, can Burt play professional baseball? Well, here's, here's <laughs> this thing. Uh, Burt claims that of all the sports and, and, and you know, activities that he is uh, a master in, which he claims to be a master in many, right. that baseball is his shit. That's what he's like. That's what he's good Dude, at. Dude, if this guy can fucking do it, why can't Burt do yeah. it? I don't know. What position does uh, he play? He plays a little bit of that. He's one of those like, uh, utility guys. Oh, he plays like, first base and third base mostly. Isn't now. first base like the, the least lazy position? Athletic? Yeah. Well, you have to get that stretch going. You got to get that stretch going. You got to pay attention because yeah. obviously that's the first place that a runner is going to. Right. And that's often where the play is going. Right. But so you have to kind of be on the ball there. Third base, I feel like, is the lazy. Is he a position. decent hitter, this guy? I mean, he was. I mean, he's been enough to fucking warrant a couple of contracts here and there, you know? He, really, he actually looks like Bert in this photo. That's what I'm saying. Because Bert like has Bert that play. That Bert might hard, be thinner than him. Yeah, that's true. Bert has that hard Bert, round Bert's belly. Tall. And and this is that same thing. That round, hard, like I've been, you know. And he drinks Coca Cola during the game. Like, oh my god, Bert could do that for sure and not cramp Kool Aid. Up. Kool Aid, yeah. they would let him drink. He would drink all that Kool Aid. He would never cramp up. He ran does a he, fucking marathon. Does he drink full sugar Kool Aid or like at least? He uh, he said he drinks the low calorie. Kool Aid. Can you pull that up? Low calorie Kool Aid, and let me know like what the. That's got to be. <laughs> he has the packets. Still, like how many calories is a gallon of of low sugar Kool Aid? It's got to be crazy. Because Kool Aid, there it is. The I think that's the one, right there. The low calorie mix. That's what he drinks. Um, I don't know what the the actual. Like nutritional information is on that, <laughs> but that's what he loves. He drinks the low calorie one. I didn't even know they still made Kool Aid. I didn't I either. Know, I hadn't neither. heard somebody say Kool Aid. I thought it was like one of those things Michelle Obama got rid of. She was like, everyone eats carrots now. Kool Aid is yeah. dead. Or or a uh, Tahitian treat. Remember that? I shit? don't know that one. Oh, that's okay. Like if you were poor, you so there it is. <laughs> it's it's low calorie, right? Five calories per serving. Well, what's a serving? Like half a cup, but he's doing. Yeah, a yeah, gallon. no, he's doing a gallon. But, he's but I so want. Okay, does it say there? Yeah, can you make that bigger by chance? I don't know what that says. Okay, so maybe he's not so bad. Uh, the sodium's going to add up because that's per serving, and a serving's probably what eight half ounces. Half a packet says one gram. Right. There's no way he's doing half a packet though. He's doing a full gallon. He's real big on pointing out all that vitamin C. <laughs> right there uh yeah six six milligrams but if this fella is put in coca-cola coca-cola is way crazy that's what i'm saying that's crazy yeah i mean there aren't there a few other jobs where they make you watch your weight like i know flight attendants can't get no that's old school 
Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's old school. That, that In the 50s, what? they'd be like, did you eat breakfast? Get the fuck out of here. Well, like, they didn't let you get on a plane like that. They, well, that was more... They would measure your waist. But there still must be a utilitarian purpose for checking weight of these flight attendants because it's like, yeah. Yeah. you can't have a fucking house on there <laughs> but I've, weighing more than the drink cart. Well, I've seen I mean? some like, big flight attendants. Bigger, Stop but you know, they stopped... Really? They, they stopped it, shaming them for being like not pencil thin and hot. That's true. But they true. were like... Now it's like if you're 400 pounds, they got to be like, listen, we no, can't, yeah, you can't be 400. We pounds. have to clear out six rows because yeah. you're working yeah. no. when you have a shift. So no. I mean, I've seen some real dogs, though. I mean, I've seen like <laughs> I have dogs. seen I've seen a couple, you know, two bills and, and sure. And, Shut and, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but in the 60s, that yeah. was not not I feel okay. like it was compounded, though. It was like also for the plane's purposes, okay, but hold on. also for beauty purposes. Read this, Tom. Worth, uh, let's see, a woman five feet fall, five inches tall, for example, who's 20, 24 years old can weigh up to 133 <gasps> pounds. Um, and from 25 to 29, 136, a 40-year-old flight attendant may weigh up to 145 pounds, and an attendant, flight I attendant would... over 65 may weigh up to 158. That's from 1991. I don't. I, those were the flight attendant rules. I would back be then. too fat for to be a flight attendant. So would I. That's <laughs> wild. Yeah, twenty twenty. Well, because it's no longer nineteen sixty five. Too bad. They must have. Oh, you, you seem to be a healthy be. weight. It says. Yeah, that's of course because I mean, what's on that drop down? People ask thing. You know, um, you got to be sashaying up and down well, the aisle. Well, that's the thing because when I was. Can you go back? When I was pregnant and I had a really hard time just scroll down that first thing there, is walking there through the aisles say? just to go yeah. to the bathroom. Like when you're bigger, you you literally just hit everybody's. Could you chairs. imagine? I did have a plumper one one time <laughs> that every time she passed me, my elbow was like, <laughs> and yeah, I'd be like, I've had that. Fucking Jesus, yeah. every time. Yeah, I've had that. Okay, read this. What's it I've say? I've had sassy one. No, it's, just, it's the same thing. It's just saying okay, that there's wait, no longer specific numbers, but. No, there's no longer a thing, of course. Your no, weight they, must be proportional to your height, yeah. There's there's no rules anymore. Jesus. Yeah, they can't like if you, you can really want to push it. A pig if you want to. And <laughs> that would be an interesting <laughs> experiment to see if, if we to. how how big of a person we can get through the system. <laughs> I wonder what you know? year it changed because it had to have been I'm guessing like <laughs> no, because they used to like measure their waists. Yeah. You know? Oh, of course. Yeah. You have to fit through the aisle. Yeah. I mean, it, and also. You know where they still. The weight of the plane. It makes sense. They still do it is in, in some of the international. Yes. Like, the European you get on, countries. And you get on like Cathay Pacific and you're like, whoa, everybody is like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dialed. Uh, I mean, and the uh, I flew. Uh, what's it called? What's the Australia? Qantas. Yeah. That shit looks like the 60s. Yeah. They, they had, got those hats. I mean, yeah. And they were fully like the uniform was perfect the big smiles and they there was no dogs yeah it they was had all, dimes galore yeah. but isn't that nice dime I mean, airlines sorry i don't oh, know what the yeah. problem is like i want oh. to look even as a woman i want to look at attractive kind everybody wants to look at nice people, people serving yeah. me i don't want angry fat pigs no and the same goes for models like on the internet when i do my online shopping they have models that look as fat as me and i don't like it i don't want to see a chunky 44 year old mom you know no. what i would do I want to see the skinny, pretty girl that I'm pretending to be in my brain. What's the, some animal they had become a model? This fat fucking. <laughs> it was. It was like she had like a beard, and 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 she was like I don't know. She was six different genders, and she was the new like. Really? Smoke. Yeah. It's probably like Gucci or something. It's something like that. I don't know what it is, but it was it was very <sighs> upsetting. It made me go like, oh, never never want to buy that again. You know what I do wish the diversity came into play for the airlines is I wish there were more cool black guys as flight attendants. That would yeah. be fun. There's a few. I've had a few. Yeah. Like too. real cool black guys would yeah. just be like, I would never be scared on a plane again. Like if we're in turbulence, and <laughs> that guy's like, Psh, I'll be like, all right, sweet. Okay, we're safe. You know <laughs> what a I mean? cool black guy. Or, yeah, yeah. And he's or, like um, composed. composed. Yeah, yeah. And I like gay male ones too, a lot. Those oh, yeah. Are my well, favorites. they're just, oh, wait, they're a bound. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just had our lights flicker here. Is that the ghost of Nadav? Uh, oh, shit. Haunting us? Is he going to haunt us here? He's know. like, I hear you guys fat shaming. <laughs> Where is he? From beyond the grave. I am a fucking Jew. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gosh. I did have one last story though, yeah, that I've been us. saving because I thought I wanted to talk to you about it so much. Um, I don't know if you noticed. You love jada and will smith yeah. yes yeah they've allowed uh someone else into their lives if you haven't seen i heard about this yeah Ooh. jada and will have allowed jada 
to sleep with a gentleman named August. A- is it Alzlene? Wait a minute. Is this real or is this, this is alleged? Real. This, this is, is real. Not alleged. Yeah. This is the man what? has come out to speak about it. And Will is on board. Will's like he approved of August f- uh, sleeping with his wife. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he was there. That I mean, their whole thing there. has Can been. I see a pic- yeah. He is no slouch. He's a young buck. Wow, this guy so lucky. God. Tom, do you think you could open your heart and your arms? I mean, God, he must be just she. Her pussy must be just made of. Imagine, like, if you will, what Tom? Donuts. What's her coat? <laughs> donuts? Yeah. Did you say donuts with jelly in them? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why do you say Just that? Just think about who she's <laughs> locked down. She had Tupac. She yeah. had Will Smith. She's got this young guy. I mean, there must be just like violins playing in there or something. Oh, wow. Don't you yeah. think? No, sure. She has had some dicks. Yeah. Some real storytellers. What's it say in this? Um, anything else? Does it say that he, does he, he talk about it? He, he had it in an inter- interview, yeah. And yeah. he said he got Will's blessing. Wow. Well, it, hey, it's been rumored that they do have an open relationship. Yeah. That's a showbiz rumor. But this guy's saying he got the blessing. So, not Will Smith isn't out saying. I'm no, they gay, haven't disputed right? it though. They have not. It's, it's not okay. disputed. Okay. Okay. This is this has been. Wow. Approved. Which guy do you think uh, Will Smith got the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Any uh, guesses? Do you have an answer? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> There's been some. I, I threw the question out there on Twitter. People have came back with a few answers, a few theories. Do you think you got to fuck a lady? Mm, there's more speculation on the other side, but hey, who knows? You know, and I I am wondering if Will watched. And who is August? Yes, Alcina? he's a mu- musician. I found out. Okay, <laughs> very I just handsome. learned about him. Now he's going over to the house getting jiggy with. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You're in a marriage. You uh, you've. Uh, Christina just asked you, imagine like you're watching your Netflix yep. and dude comes downstairs. He's like, what's up, dog? She's asleep, bro. And then you guys just watch <laughs> Netflix together. Like, what do you got on there? And then you just like post up next to you. Like, are you cool with that? Yeah. You'd be, that's what Will yeah. would be like. And he's like, uh, well, and so then I you? get up. He's like, hey, man, we bring me a drink. We'll yeah. Yeah. Drink. What you got in there? For yeah. yeah. Be right back then. <sighs> Well, this family is certainly, they're always open about everything. Yeah. Like Willow came out. Didn't she come how out as non-binary? How old is this guy? What's it say? What's, it, what's, it, how old, what's his age? He looks 27. Yeah. Ooh, 27. Yeah. She's in her 50s. Ooh. So he's pounding Those out the walls. just went out again. And they Those came back. completely out again. They're on a yeah. different uh, thing. Than really? The rest. Yeah. They're on that's the, strange, right? Yeah. Wow. But so. the cameras and shit aren't on that shit. Gosh. I don't think. That's um, pretty cool, man. Wow. I mean, the truth is. Maybe is Will that, likes to watch, though. That's the thing. That's true. Yeah, that's You know could what I mean? It's whatever gets you going. Sometimes people put their balls in their ass. Sometimes people invite, you know, yeah. young guys. Young to come, dudes to come yeah. fuck their wives. But Will Smith is such a high profile movie star. There is no way that he's like allegedly 100% faithful you know what i'm saying like he's had so many ladies thrown at him yeah it's not even that i'm sure they've had to have an arrangement some would say maybe he he's even bored with the ladies you're really wow (laughs) (laughs) you're you're really in on this huh i don't know i just needed something to spice it up i've been really bored (laughs) you think he's both real bored both ways so wait he's very famous you were you were famously um you were really not doing well with quarantine yeah and the lack of stand and then you got to do stand-up a few weeks ago yeah and then it shut down again everything. but how was doing stand-up was it, it was fine it wasn't it wasn't as good as i i realized coming out of that i need to do it every day you know i needed yeah. to be back yeah, yeah that was just a tease just a taste i know it's like it was you do too much heroin of a tease. once and, and it was actually more depressing like i didn't yeah it actually probably saved me because i didn't leave my hotel room once other than to do the shows so that probably was good for social distance uh, reasons. And how is, like, we went over our quarantine stages. Yeah. What are yours? I've accepted it now. I feel like this is my life. I just do shoulder hair porn and uh, tit cups and I uh, play video games for money. So that's what I, you know. It's a new life. It's what I am. You know, if comedy comes back, great. But I can live like this. You know, I did it. I'm cl- my room is clean. Ah, uh, It is. So you've been keeping oh, yeah. it clean. Is your TV off of your bed? It is actually. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Wow. On I a dresser? Mean, I mean, yeah. Would nice. you be willing to share a photograph of your new of course. room? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I think everybody would. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to see the new arrangement. Yeah, okay. 
I, wow. I the TV I put on the bed to play games still sometimes. Yeah. I'm, it's a habit thing. Yeah. Fine. I like. Right. I kind of like it to be honest. But well, it's uh, probably easier for you to see. Yeah, if it's too close. <laughs> that's true yeah, too, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I'm like, well, oh, it's probably. I never thought of that. It either. is far yeah. away when it's a. <laughs> yeah, really it's far. Yeah, I never did either until just now. But I feel closer to you because I picked up new glasses this week. Yeah. I have a How new prescription. did you get a new script? Yep. I have to do that eventually. I just talked to somebody about that. I'm noticing lights in the distance are getting blurrier. I'm like, oh, oh boy, no. it's time. Oh boy, we got to upgrade. You want my doc? All right. Oh. Is he good? Is yeah. he, can he do the heavy duty shit? Oh yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. We need to add a couple panes to I this window. Do, I want to do. You know what I want to do? I want to do a post Zoom interview with him where I'm like, "What was it like having someone like Josh in there?" Or he was like, like real where he's like juiced up. He's like, "Man, we don't see this shit." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Once every couple of years. <laughs> yeah, this so is the kind special. of shit you tell you hear about in medical school. <laughs> yeah, you you dream think. about. Yeah. I'm just excited wow. thinking about which 27 year old I'll get to bang. Uh, we kind of moved on from that a while well, ago. I'm just dreaming. You know, I came down. I came down to. I like Ryan Gosling. He's too old. He's too old, and I like Luke Wilson. I, They're oh, both I, so old. I, They're my age. You got to do like Timothy Chambulet or whatever that guy. I don't even know that mm-hmm. guy. Timothy Chambulet. I like Justin Bieber before all the tattoos. Yeah. Okay. I just love oh, the. Get off. They're too there young. Twenty seven is like a baby. Lover. I just love the idea of Tom being on the couch. He comes down. He's like, "What's up, dog? <laughs> Found out them walls for you should be all should be out." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that's the conversation. Over the back, there. Over the back of the couch. What's up, dog? What's up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just watching some dark. <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, it's football bet. Oh, it's a replay. That's cool." Like, yeah, that's okay. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's all I found in the news. Everything else is, uh, you know. Yeah, I, pretty I, shitty. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'm glad you're glad you're doing well, man. I'm Thank you. Okay. Yeah, me too. We yeah, no, it's f- now we're deep in it. I mean, who knows when we're gonna come out? So, this is what it is, baby. Let's rock. Let's do it. Okay. All right, you guys want to take a quick break before our guest comes? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by ExpressVPN. Have you ever watched The Office? you have you probably know it's based on a uk series also called the office but what if i told you there are nine other countries with their own versions of the office that you've never seen what what well you probably didn't know about them because they're not usually available in your country but you can access content available around the world with no geo restrictions when you use express vpn see express vpn lets you control where you want sites to think you're located You can choose from nearly 100 different countries, giving you access to content that isn't available in your region. If you like watching shows or movies, ExpressVPN is a must-have, less than $7 a month. ExpressVPN lets you access thousands of new shows and movies on Netflix, Amazon, Prime, Disney+, and so many others. So get the most out of your streaming services today at expressvpn.com slash your mom. If you use our link, you'll get extra you'll get extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash your mom. Expressvpn.com slash your mom to learn more. As you know, my Jean and I have been together for 15 years, right? Is that yeah, it? Yeah. And I'll tell you the way we keep things spicy is with adamandeve.com. I swear. I buy this fella cock ring after cock ring, and he loves it. Feels good. Make, <laughs> makes you harder. <laughs> you do. You have to keep it fresh. You do. And listen, we have two small kids. And there's uh, things that vibrate, and then you begok too soon. <laughs> exactly. But it's so much fun it to is. add little little things like a cock ring into your sex life can make it so much better. And it's not a lot of effort. And I love Adam and Eve. It's the number one adult toy superstore. There are toys for men, toys for women, couples toys, every kind of lube and lotion, lingerie, and so many other sexy gifts. Take advantage of this downtime though. We're all in right now and choose almost any one item and get 50% off at adamandeve.com with the code YMH. And when you do, you'll also get 10 free boredom busting gifts, including six spicy movies, spices, and a three-piece bonus kit. And best of all, free shippered, shippered, 
And best of all, free shipping delivered discreetly right to your door. I know you're like, I don't want to get a box full of dildos because my neighbors will see it. Don't worry. They won't They won't even know because it's so discreet. Just remember to use offer code YMH. That's YMH at checkout for this amazing deal. Go to adamandeve.com and use that offer code YMH to get 50% off just about any item plus 10 free gifts. Use code YMH at checkout. And we are back with one of our all-time favorites. You know him well from his show here on our very own YouTube channel. You know him from television and radio. He is Dr. Andrew Tyrone Reginald Frederick Pinsky. From? From New Hampshire. After Dark. After Dark. After Dark. Ah. From After Dark. With the Dark. Yes. Thank you and thank you and thank you and... Tom's filling in a little bit here and there. Yeah, I have yes. a good time with uh, it. We do have a good time. Tom uh, destroys a, the shit out of me. We had yeah. a recent uh, episode that I, I believe at this point the audience would have seen where you saw some very, very disturbing and upsetting I'm, things. I'm glad that they have seen it by now because Tom destroyed me. I believe yeah. you. He came home ear to ear smiles. I'm sure he did. I said, I, how was it with Dr. Drew? He goes, I horrified him uh, he was gonna throw mm, up that is not, yes that is <laughs> he <laughs> likes that. that this horrified isn't quite a strong enough i term. had an mm. actual like a, a excitement yesterday no after, <laughs> after getting we, home yes and after we sit, after we've d- recorded our episode we recorded yes, our episode yes. and i was thinking about because you saw a lot of really disgusting things beyond and then i go you know i feel like i've reached a ceiling with that so what it did was it opened up a portal into a new lane that I'm going to be introducing you to uh, soon. Because what it did was, it, oh my god, it sort of challenged me. It's like someone shoved me. And goes, what are you going to do about it? it? it literally you know? is like I feel like I'm like some sort of Navy SEAL that just yeah. went through this huge training session. And said, yes. And you've seen it all. Now, you're, now it's on. Now we're going to really challenge it. You are a practicing yeah. doctor. People don't realize that, but you have a practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, a I'm, I'm a workaholic doctor. So, and so, so I've seen everything. And have you seen fists in butts and vaginas? Well, you and at I enjoyed time? that a little bit. Yeah. That, I mean, we watched well, that and we enjoyed, we enjoyed that. We enjoyed it together. And, no, we didn't. We saw right. a double fisting together. Well, she and I saw that too. And oh, you did. That's the where, double. That yeah. is where Christina P. almost lost it. Yeah. I didn't like that one. No. But you lost your cookies almost when Robert Paul Champagne did a yeah that was pretty white gross white he, makes me vomit yeah but then tom thought that's not enough <laughs> that is not enough yeah because i feel like the one that really really got to yesterday was the corn on the cob was that it? one yeah. oh you saw that one yeah, i forgot that, that one, one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but it, you primed me with the rocks though i think yeah <laughs> Wait, which one's the rock? That so <laughs> a lady made a chocolate onto a doggy pad, and and, and they were really hard. And, and really Tom's soft. like, wait, 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 listen, listen, and I had to listen and look a few times. Yeah. And he was right. It sounded yeah. like rock. And he asked for a trash can at one point. Yeah, I did. You did. Oh, yes, I. Oh no, no, it was serious. What threw yeah. you over the threshold there? Uh, the the corn. The corn was a corn? shock to my system. So for those of you who haven't seen the clip uh. or heard the clip, this woman makes a brown. Well, no. No, no, no it's no, way got, better yeah, than yeah, that. No, you, there's, there's multiple stages. Uh, First, so, she gives... Sorry, guys. She <laughs> gives head. So, right. Hang on a second. Slow down. Slow down. Right at this point, I, I went to... I said to Tom, I go... <laughs> Do you remember that dinner we had where we all sat down at two, two couples? Yeah. And... And we talked about this after dark show we were going to do. And Tom leaned across and said, Are you, this is really what you want to do? I had no fucking idea he was talking about this. It was the yeah, Matrix, yeah. the red I, pill I or the blue. I didn't know. I did not know. True. But our last episode, he and I, that's when I understood what that's that was talking about. That's when you knew about. what was going on. Yeah, so that's where it started. I don't like this part. I don't like it. No, that's just the beginning. I know, and I, I didn't know. like that either. And by the way, he had primed me I with didn't rocks even know and other where things. It went. it went. And then we got but that's this. that's not okay. Medically. That's not okay. We said that. We made that point. And, but but already there's something about the quality of her stool that is really bothersome to me. Yeah. The That's extra dark. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see this part last time. You know, neither did I. That's right. Neither did I. And is, are you tapping out? I'm tapping out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the white flag? I, I, this is the yay, yay, yay. That's a sound I've never made before, by the Wait, way. Wait, do you yeah. think that chocolate's real then? If it looks, if uh, you're worried about you the quality, what? maybe I, it's not real. I don't care. It, it's not. It's the whole. It 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 lands. As okay, real. so it let's walk through because we didn't talk about on this show. What's Ugh. the danger of putting brown in your meow? 
You don't want brown in your meow? No, not in your mouth. That's that you can. I'd rather it go in the mouth than the meow. And why can't it I go mean in from the, a medical standpoint? Why medically? Why can't it go in? Because the, the meow does not like. Oh my God! Look at this. That's Norman as a lady. He, yeah, he's, he's got the, the face, lady face, the face app. Fantastic. But wait, why can't it go um, in? Because the, the the meow does not like E. coli and other bacteria. Sure. And, and what they, can they happen? Will, you vaginitis. Vaginitis. You it's treatable. It's treatable, it's and it won't good. destroy you. But it, I mean, you could get pelvic inflammatory disease. You know, Which is complication that? where it gets up into the tubes. And then and that's, that's really serious. That's, that's more serious. serious. Yeah, you'd be in the hospital. But yeah, the quality. It's funny you said the quality of her stool. It, it, I'm I'm ready to believe that they shoved chocolate up her ass or yeah. fudge or something, and then right. had her do this. Yeah, because it was very very dark, very chocolatey looking. Yeah, so it does look chocolate. I, I'm it almost better. I'm but yeah, better. it almost Maybe, looks delicious. Right? Here's the thing. <laughs> Maybe instead of being <laughs> chocolate, just lots of blood is, is, is in there. It could be, yes. Yeah. It's an active GI bleed we're looking at. Yeah. Mm. What does the, black stools mean? Black stool means there's been blood bleeding from the upper GI tract. This is what Tom's alluding to here. Yeah. A and uh, it turns black as it moves through. And then as it comes out, <laughs> you got real problems. <laughs> you're, you got something bleeding upstream. <laughs> This yeah. it's funny though for me that like gives me something to focus on and yeah. then I'm not thinking about the corn oh, anymore. Oh right, you're so it's good. It. Yeah. It's like literally like being an ambulance driver or something and things aren't good and you're like, okay, I can fix this. I can fix that. You stay yeah. focused. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna find some stuff to get you next time though. This I'm, is the portal. I'm 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 opening a new <laughs> portal. Yeah. Can you give me give me a hint just so I can maybe work out to you know just prep myself. Do the exercise the muscles I need well, to tolerate this? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but it's a combination of what you're seeing now. White and brown? White and brown, <laughs> and then... Um, My least favorite sort yeah. of things together that and to go in the mouth. It has elements of violence and severe personal injuries. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I look at him laughing. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Tom Segura. Yeah. <laughs> It's my good baby job, daddy. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. You're going to, you're going to like it. You're going to like the way you look. And, and really it's <laughs> all this whole experience here at your mom's house has been like boiling a frog. Mm -hmm. yeah. It came in. I was, I came to your house. You seemed like such nice people. Yeah. And you showed me a bunch of dead people originally. Essentially. Did we? Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Well, people that to me looked like they were dying. Oh yeah. I mean, they would have ended up dead. <laughs> And this ensued, and but I thought, huh, interesting reaction. Yeah. I, I guess, I guess I, I'm missing something. Let me go back and see what's going yeah. on. Maybe I, maybe they, I was intrigued. Let's say I'm intrigued. Came back, saw more dead people, yeah. uh, and then the mentally <laughs> ill and, and people with anosognosia started drifting in. Do you know what that is? No. Uh, anosognosia. Anosognosia is a biological. It, it's uh, it's a biological event that causes you to neglect. <laughs> it's neurobiologist. You don't see things you should see. Like? <laughs> like, uh, you know, how you're being perceived on TikTok. Uh, or some of the choices favorite. you make. You, yeah. it's, it's, it's a relative of Dunning. Oh, look, uh, Better Nadav pulled it up right away. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's essentially what they're going to pull up is anosognosia as it pertains to stroke. Like if you get a stroke on the right side of your brain, you mm. don't realize that the left side of your body's out. You just don't you just don't notice it. In fact, oh. you don't even notice the left side of the world. Stop it. The oh, whole right. like you see clocks. If you if I have you write a clock, you'll jam it all on the left side on the right side rather. Oh wow! Uh, and the left that. side just doesn't exist. Uh, and wow. so anosognosia, it's also a relative of denial. Think about how drug addicts think. They're just, they can't see but, what's happening But people with anosognosia don't have the choice to see what they do not. Right. It's, but, a, it's a biological it's, yeah, thing. Yeah, it's not willfully neglecting. No. Well, and Dunning-Kruger is more cognitive. It's like this, they don't by the know way, enough every know. time, I, I mean, we've talked about it at yeah. length. Yeah. I feel like it's so underappreciated. I know. That and so... It, no, so prevalent. I, so prevalent today. It's it's like unbelievable. And right? I think, yes, and I think a big part of it is that technology allows Correct. people to believe as though. Believe and communicate yeah. and share right. thoughts. To feel as though they know everything. And so I've mentioned this many times, I think I've told you this, <laughs> that my peers have begun putting a plaque up in their offices that says, do not confuse your Google search with my medical training. Mm. That's hilarious and necessary. And that's and it should be signed Dunning Kruger yeah. because because that's the definition of Dunning Kruger. I love that, and I feel like that's um, it's a li like it's a little aggro, but it's needed for those people. Who and, and somehow people understand experiential learning when it comes to skills. Yeah, like they understand, oh, you can't read about riding a bike and then know how to ride a bike. Right. So I can't read about surgical procedures and know how to do surgery. Right. But they assume 
that cognitive skills mm -hmm. can be learned by just reading about it. Mm. No. And people will read a paragraph. Yeah. Like, Here's what we should do. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's scary. And we're going back to the medieval uh, period, pre printing Ooh, well, this, press. Your do you area. like this? Yes, okay. I like the transition. Because uh, before the printing press, we had an oral tradition. Yes. And now people are getting their information, thankfully, from podcasts. But you hear uh -huh. so many people oh, go. Oh, we're going back to the oral tradition. Yes. And I heard good. on the podcast. I'm sure, I'm so -so sure back pre Thomas Aquinas, the topic was much like the topics here at your mom's house. Oh, eating duty that after corn cobs. Easily was the oral tradition. There were <laughs> men then, let's be fair. So, so there probably was something like this mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just the church had to get involved well one of our friends is uh, a good Ugh. friends is a pediatrician i and, know her and yeah and we we talk a lot about like mm -hmm. shout out to how Jess. how how you know is it with so many especially because you know it's different when you have one thing is a patient comes to see you one thing is a parent brings you their child yes and and how many times do you have parents who are you know, here's what I believe we're looking at. Right. Here's the solution, and then, oh, yeah. and as pediatricians, and the you know, part of town she practices. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the pediatricians have to. This one came in. What are you I talking know. about? <laughs> you have to navigate um, that so much more well, delicately. Well, that you. and I think the pediatricians are very skilled at looking at the patient as the mother-child unit. Oh, so right. The, the, the oh. totality of the patient, and I used I used to advocate for similar models when we talked about adolescence, right? Because yeah. adolescence. The parent still was involved, but we had to separate them and have meetings with each of them and have meeting back together again. Right. It's because it's that intermediate stage. And then adulthood, the parents, sorry. No but that more. does have to be mm. so unnerving when, uh, like, I mean, I mean, even I can even tell you when my, my dad was sick like a, a year ago and I would be in the hospital visiting and my sister, who was really an advocate for him, though, would sometimes like say to, you know, um, a, a doctor in a in in a clinic like at a high level yeah. hospital like yeah. don't like don't use that tube for that that's bothering him and the guy would be like oh. <laughs> and i would see him and be like just, just, i would just like quickly be like no you're, you're gonna don't worry about it, it. <laughs> yeah yeah but I, i'm i'm assuming to some they're like you know we deal with this shit every all day. the time yeah. all the time yeah, yeah. Well, that's why when well I... now you know we were talking before we came in here about uh, some of the stuff in the press as it pertains to the pandemic now the press is telling us how to practice medicine. Yeah. And the politicians. Mm. We can't even talk honestly about how what we do in the public because everyone's got an opinion. He, it's um, really something else. Well, and it's they're beyond. not reporting the positive things that are happening not. in COVID right no. now. If you don't mind, can you just say a positive just the, things the, that are happening right that, now? That we've had a little uptick and it's concerning. We need to take care of it and be cautious, but it's mostly affecting young people, which is a milder form of the illness. And it's sort of a horrible flu then that can go very bad. Like we all know about Nick Cordero, they can go really bad. But for the most part, my profession now knows kind of how to handle this thing and how to treat it in such a way that we keep them out of the hospital. And if they go in the hospital, we can keep them out of the ICU. And if they get into the ICU, we can keep them from dying. That's right. generally the trend right now with the treatments we have. And things like hydroxychloroquine and zinc, azithromycin and uh, remdesivir and de uh, dexamethasone, all these things, and how we use the ventilators and who gets on the ventilator, all these mark a difference in outcome. Yeah, and from March to now. Yes, yeah. we're, doing, we're doing a really good job with so it. So we've learned to manage the illness a bit and, and more. And if, if, the, if the, some of the hydroxychloroquine data for early use with zinc is coming in, it's starting to look like... If it's true, if that data is accurate and has to be reproduced many times, so please don't tell me, what am I to believe? One minute it's this, one minute it's that, because that's how science works. You have to you have to, yes. you have to reproduce it many times before it becomes Why? automatic. Yeah. And, uh, Why can't you just do it once? And then that shows <laughs> right, you. All right. Uh, it, we may be able to turn it into the flu. For, particularly wow. for young people, particularly for young people. And how good do these vaccines look? Everyone's it's talking crazy about. Crazy good. I want to get on the, I want to be a human subject. Oh, so get, we have get a friend a, get that on, does that, Yoshi. Well, I want to get on it faster the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. I think I think Yoshi just did like a clinical trial. He just did, yeah, he yeah. were DMing. They put I it like in, in his Seattle. eyes and he was like, yeah, it still works. <laughs> Everything's good. I want to do it for the vaccine. Yeah. Faster you do? The so yes. that's, that's. oh my God, afraid. the science looks like a new Why science aren't you afraid? Because the, the biotechnology is there. It's there. It's there. And, and the one by, out of Oxford, you mean? Uh, multiple, multiple ones I've read about look really clean and good. I want, I want the mR, the RNA vaccine. That to me looks the most interesting, and it, and I want to contribute to advancement of this new technology that really looks so great. Do but, Bill and Melinda Gates want to kill the yes, population? They, well, they want to put a chip in when they put the vaccine in. That's yes. of course what's happening. So we cannot trust. <laughs> you can see that on TikTok. Can't <laughs> Have you, you followed the conspiracies about? I them? can't. They make me crazy. Yeah. I can't do it. They're like the Gates <laughs> are trying I, I to murder I, the population. I can't. 
Well, it, and it all started with back in Super Africa dangerous. where they tried to help with the malaria. And, and, and they were like, you're just trying to kill black people in Africa. I know. That was the conspiracy that I came know. out. Seriously, they were like, the Gates are just trying to murder. Well, it, literally one of the local uh, kings uh -huh. started advocating that. Really? Yeah. It's a whole, go watch the documentary on Bill Gates. You see the whole thing. But, but in any event, um, I want the vaccine. I want it now. I, I don't want to be on a phase one or a phase two trial, right? That's when you find out their, their safety and efficacy and stuff. Yeah. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking to be in the phase three. Let's do it. Now, but you said uh, they're close to phase three, right? If they're, they're in phase three as far as I know. Phase yeah, three. as That's far as I know. They're, they're going to have this thing out in the fall. Also, Somebody said November now. Please. Secretary Azar said Great. November. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll now, start going back to church. I'll start. <laughs> I right? know. Praise Being Allah. Praise right. Allah. Yes. Praise everybody. Um, so the, I heard today there's a case of the bubonic plague in China. Mm. They found one. Yeah. this I, I find it fascinating be, that this becomes headline news <laughs> because have I not been saying that the plague is coming in Southern California? In have the homeless not heard, population. you not heard me say this? Yes. Okay. Here's why I say this. Yes, the plague has had an, uh, made it to humans in Mongolia. It's here in Southern California. Mm. It's here in squirrels and feral cats and raccoons. And it's just a matter of time, the plague experts tell me, before it jumps into humans, mm. most likely homeless. They're out there with the stuff that transmits it. They're out there in the, with, the, with the animals. And once it gets in, it's going to just, <laughs> just explode. blow through. Yeah. And what happens when you get the plague? There's different versions of it. There's pneumonic plague, which just had causes the pneumonia. There's bubonic plague, where you get mm. buboes, which are essentially or giant lymph nodes that come to the surface and open up and puss out in your skin. Mm. Nice. That seems nice. Neat. It is, is lovely. There, is there a it's treatment lovely. for that one? Yes, or? all of them. But if it gets, oh. but if it gets ahead, it's, it's like like COVID. If it gets away from you, it, it you're you're screwed. Yeah. And sorry, if I ran you. If it gets advanced, the, you're you're. The last you're outbreak trouble. was in. Los Angeles. A bubonic? In the 1920s. Great. And everybody who was in contact with this one guy, I think it was in Chinatown, if I remember right, everybody died within like four days. Okay. <laughs> it <was> like, <laughs> is, is there no vaccine for this, for the bubonic no, plague? It's, we a, haven't, it's a, that's bacterial? Yeah. Pestis, yeah. Now what happens, um, what if it, it explodes <sighs> in the homeless population and we just kind of let it run its course? And then... <laughs> I would say, I would say... Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Segura. <laughs> and then when it starts getting into like people in homes, we go, all right, here's all the medicine. And then we kind of like solve two problems at the same time. You know what's interesting? Uh, it, it occurs to me that uh, people are, I, I, I stood back, I, I'm really upset about the homeless problem. And I know ex because it's, it's, it's my patients. Too. I know exactly how to treat these mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And, uh, and no one will listen to me, or at least the leaders who seem delusional won't listen. Uh, there are plenty of other people that will, but not in leadership positions like that. Oh my God! People now, so people are like trying to get me to run for office now, yes. like, like mayor of Los Angeles, things like that. Where I, and I thought, God, that is probably the only way I could change this is really do this. And then I thought, Oh, I'm on your mom's house. <laughs> that would fuck the whole thing up. Oh, and not There's only that, no way that after corn cob and this conversation, I that I could even <laughs> contemplate a political run for not, anything. Can I tell you something though? It takes care of it. For if me. you were to run for office. Think about what would happen with our viewership and downloads. Huge spike. <laughs> so you want to get behind me? Well, yes. this in a way becomes my grab them by the pussy moment. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. He, he was able to go ahead and do his thing. I'll be honest. Dr. Drew showed me his penis <laughs> and he made me give it kisses. There you go. I don't know. And it Maybe was delicious. Was and you were 11 at the time. <laughs> I was small and then his pee pee got bigger. <laughs> But as, you're certainly not going to run for office after your wife appeared on. Well, that was Where that was. I, th at. I thought that was what put the nails. Did you in the see coffin. that whole episode? I heard yeah, about it. I, seen it? Oh, heard about I, it. I was afraid to watch. <laughs> well, you know, before we get to that, because uh, we have some things so to ask excited. about that. Um, you gave us a lot of um, uh, insight on Fed Smoker. Oh um, yeah. I don't know if oh, you ever. May rest in peace. Just to refresh anyone's memory, if they don't know him. Listen, I got to ask you. You ever see my videos? What is it when I say after the red comes the white? You ever heard me say that before? I think it's because of the blood of Jesus, brother. After the red comes the white. There it is again. He's really big on red white chariots white. Yeah. and the white cars. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, goes, he calls them the chariots, you know? There's something about it. Every time I film, the, I'll see a red chariot and then a white one comes after that, I call it. Is that really weird or what? No. Is it coincidental? It's probably two of the most common colors. That's what I was thinking. But mm -hmm. it's really weird. I won't go into it. Uh, it doesn't that way every time. Sometimes it does pop up blue, red, white, and blue, but it's usually red, white, and black. 
So I had a patient, a meth addict. Uh-huh. Surprise. Who uh, bite your tongue when you talk about feds? Go ahead. <laughs> this is I, and I say that with peace and love and peace and love. Uh-huh. Uh, th- that uh, he thought every time he got gas, this one car would go by with a particular license plate. Oh, mm. uh, and one day uh, that car drove in on the to the, get some gas after him, and uh-huh. he beat the shit out of the guy that drove up, who just happened to get some gas. <laughs> and I just got to get out of his car to get gas. And my meth addict patient, who delusionally was seeing patterns where there were none, uh-huh. uh, used it as a reason to. Wow. S- Is that something that commonly happens? Oh, yes, routinely. Seeing the patterns? Yes, it's, it's part of the meth, whole meth thing. Yeah. Brother, they're not going to do too good, are they? People that be naughty around me, do you think they're going to do too well? No, not. You see that canister of mace right there? See how big it is? It looks like bear spray. It's police spray, it says on it. Magnum, I think it's just a name. But that's a lot uh, of... Do you realize that that's going to... That's a messy car. One, that's the best one, view of his car we've ever seen. Yeah. Be ready we, to go you, jail, it didn't, aren't you and I have studied his car, haven't yes, we? Oh, no, yeah. it, was, it was somebody else, and yeah. I we took a good look at it. Oh, well. <laughs> right, let's go back and freeze that you for a second. You know what? That stuff's gone off in my look at, pants oh. before. Oh, good right for you, man. Pocket. You ever had that stuff it spray so bad for in your pants and get your balls? in my pants, but when you wash it off, it trickles down. Oh, God, it's horrible, man. I, uh sat in my car once and it went off and the only thing i had was a brand new bottle of tomato juice i got the freaking lid off and put my balls in the tomato juice is that crazy much like a skunk like if you had you got yeah. Yeah, let's get look at that car so real so, quick. so Bro, they're not gonna do too let good, me bring you they? a little primer on cocaine and meth yeah uh co- meth addicts are preoccupied with law enforcement. They go to them all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you told yeah, me you that. Yeah, that. cocaine addicts run, run away. from them. Yeah. yeah. Why does why do meth and meth, what? the disorganization, taking things apart, hoarding, that's all meth. So, wait, what so when does... you see people on the street where their bikes are dismantled all over yeah. the place, that's meth. And why why do you think the appeal to go to law enforcement they, because they feel they feel nervous and they feel upset and insecure. It's like a strobe light's going off in their life all the time. And the law enforcement, they don't have paranoia about them. They're, for whatever reason, the biology of it doesn't focus on people in uniforms. While with cocaine, the preoccupation is specifically and only people in uniforms. Oh, wow. To get away from them. Get away from them. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. What? And you see them. They actually hallucinate them, too. Oh, boy. What does meth do to the brain? It destroys it. It's really not good. It just lights it all up. It puts it on it, fire. It, it, or what? It, well, it lights up several regions that are, you know, associated with mood and energy and things like that, and affect and and the problem is it causes something called excito. Uh, ex, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Excitotoxicity, where the pushing of the neurotransmitters out of the cell eventually create free radicals within the cell. It has something to do with how the vesicles are. The way a, neuro, a neuron works is it pushes a chemical out and then it repackages and pulls it up and then pushes it back out again. It's doing this all the time. Mm-hmm. Cocaine is really good at doing that. Uh, it blocks the reuptake so stuff stays out in the in the cleft for a while. Meth is specifically just doing this. Mm. Uh, and so the vesicles don't reform normally. And when they try, the cell tries to bring the neurochemical back into the cell, it sort of breaks loose from the vesicle. It's not supposed to be free in the cytoplasm. It turns into a free radical and kills the cell. And that's why they look like shit. I mean, they're, it's destroying it your destroys, body. It yeah, a from, lot of cells and stuff. It's yeah. not I mean, good for you, but in, but Jesus. this is sort of happening to your body. We're looking at it right here. What is that? What is What's that? White top too. Yeah, I know it's so. Well, he wants to be like a policeman. It's just exactly like a, poli- it's yeah. a policeman's car. Yeah. I mean, it's a Crown Vic. It has the the metal background. What, what's that white thing? The, is that a seat? Is that a? Ma- it's a blanket. A Navajo blanket. No, over uh, just off of that uh, uh, with the, a skull on it. It's got a yeah, skull yeah, yeah. picture. A He's got a lot of skulls. Yeah, yeah. he likes skulls. Oh, oh my god. god. But here's why. Everywhere. The reason I brought this up was actually not even for this video. It was to show you. Apparently, somebody is sort of saw Fed Smoker as a nemesis, and we found that person. <gasps> Oh he my. made videos like kind of calling Conald out. Okay. What's up, Conald? Ooh. Mm. So you're having some problems in Rifle, Colorado, in Durango. Way to go, Rifle. Keep up the good work. <gasps> Hater. And it is harassment on officer. I hope you get charged for every cop in every video you have for harassing each and every person. Because it is harassment. Enjoy your day, Ghostmaker Peterson. Uh oh. By the way, 
Love the way you change all them fucking YouTube channels, you fucking pussy. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a little bit of that going yeah, he does. on too. Mm-hmm. They might have met at a similar oh, type of event. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Uh, they boy. probably partied together, right? He looks like an actor. Who is he reminding me of? I know. Yeah. He could have been handsome, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. He looks like he's straight out of a Western or something. Yes. Right? Like, kind yeah. Of, like he just took off the gear yes. and he's just relaxing in the trailer now. <laughs> yeah. it's been a long day wearing them fucking boots. Oh, jeez. But yeah. see, I, my theory is he and Connell used to party together. I didn't know his name until this yeah. minute. You're freaking me out. Connell Eugene Conald. Peterson. How did you find out? Um, when he, when it was first rumored that he passed... Yeah. Um, uh, everybody like we learned his name then mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah because uh, Connell well I think it's actually more in, makes more sense in line with the meth thing than this guy saying he's being a pussy you know he had like, uh, like 20 YouTube channels <laughs> so he would upload them to different channels all so the that's time. like much the way he would like dismantle and organ- <laughs> yeah. hoarding it's hoarding YouTube channels yeah <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm glad I don't do math. Yeah. Oh my god! By the way, and it's really hard to stop. They they really really miss it. They don't feel they can. Ex- they feel like they stop existing without Ooh. it once they get strung out on it. And um, and they're dying hand over fist right now of math. Really? Yeah, it's not even clear what's happening. Really. These are there deaths. are there drugs you can transition them out of math with? Like when you not do really. No, mm-hmm. not, not the way Just they're cold not, turkey. I mean, you're going to have to do stuff to help with their. How do you and... feel about um, God, somebody yeah. going from a like say a, let's say a hardcore mm-hmm, drug mm-hmm. to just being like, hey, I just want to smoke. Can I just smoke weed all day? Is that better than doing? It's better, yeah. So you tell them, yeah, do that then. <laughs> In some cases, yeah, yeah. And, and and I don't, you know, I don't, I, I don't differ. Drugs. You, if you're going to be on drugs, why do we say it's different to be on cannabis than to be on Suboxone mm-hmm. or to be on methadone? If cannabis does it and you're stable for a while. All right. Stay on cannabis. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, now, the problem is it doesn't really stimulate them very long. Yeah. And it usually, but I had a patient, I had a heroin addict who was me- mega sick with peripheral vascular disease and breast cancer and uh, had a million medical problems. And she maintained on cannabis. And I was like, great. You're not, she's not going to live very long either. And so it's like, let's, let's just stay with that. Perfect. Isn't there kind of a version of this with Joey Diaz though? Like he used to do heroin <laughs> and then cocaine. Did he really? Oh yeah. Mm. And cocaine... That dude was like major cocaine, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. He, I mean, he was doing like eight ball a fucking day, and I gotta talk said, to him someday. I've never met him. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, I'm dying to talk to him. Oh, oh this is crazy. Set yeah. This up. And well, Rogan's I, the other one you got to get me involved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Else. You've never okay, but he was like Joey was like you know over 400 pounds. He said he was just like you oh, know smoking gosh. a pack and a half doing. But coke. he sounds like this is an interesting. Okay, it's an interesting but I mean, syndrome you know, he's got. All types of crazy. Because there's all, there's all, I was thinking about this morning. There's different flavors of alcoholism, different yeah. flavors of addiction. Sure. They, it's not one thing, you know. Right. But yeah. now, like what Joey's, you know, he's very public with, mm-hmm. I'm not revealing any secrets, is that he, you know, he goes heavy on the edibles. Yeah. But I've always viewed it as like, yeah, I mean, that's better than well, him you, being you, on any well, of those. I, I'm going to bet, because yeah. that what feels like, that, that feels like to me, like a super trauma dude. With PTSD and stuff, who's just, just, just using everything to try to feel better. Food, right. cigarettes, everything. Bah, 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 bah. And somebody treated him or he got better in some way. Uh-huh. And now the cannabis is holding him. Like, yeah. So good. But it's good. That's what yes. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he can handle insane levels of can I mean, he gets fucked up on them, but I'm saying like his threshold is way higher than mm-hmm. anybody else's. Yeah. I know. It happens. Yeah. For all our sakes, we need to avoid crowds any way we can right now. But what if you need to go to the post office? Well, that's what stamps.com is for. Hello, you can print postage on demand and skip those lines and crowds at the post office. Posts. <laughs> Take it from the top. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm fried. <laughs> okay. I hear that, Jim. I'm out of my mind. Okay. <laughs> For all our sakes, we need to avoid crowds right now. And that is why I use stamps.com. I have an account. I do it from my own house. I print postage uh, using my own printer at home. They even give you a digital scale. I save money on postage. And guess what? Now, stamps.com even has UPS. That's right, UPS. It's so simple. You just print it out. You let them know. The mail carrier comes, picks it up, and it is the absolute best. We've been using stamps.com for years. They are such a great service. Um, send your stuff anywhere in the world. You can print your postage 24-7, any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere, anytime. And right now, 
my listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in mom. That's stamps.com. Enter mom. Stay safe, my friends. Like way higher. Good now, have you ever seen uh-oh. this? I really lucked out because <laughs> my next boyfriend was Drew and then we just, yeah. and we had sex on the first date. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you for, so, I like okay, what she has, to, she has to, you didn't even ask that. She has to come right out with it. I'm anticipating well, Christina. First of all, I, I view you that. differently learning that you have sex on the first date. Really? Yes. I mean, right. couldn't you be a gentleman and take her well, take, a few take times? Take they were in their 20s when they <gasps> met. 20s? Four, 23. They were is my puppies. Name. This is from where my mom's at, my exclusive interview. I like the way she's coming to my aid. This is good. With she's Dr. trying to soften this. Tom's trying to increase the blow. <laughs> He's trying to increase the impact. And Christina's well, coming to my aid. Let I me like tell that. you, my interview with Susan was very enlightening. Yes, we're going to find out why. As you know, it, it, first of all, how's the feedback been? Fantastic. People she's like a fantastic her. guest. No, not people you. are in love I, with her. People like her. Okay, good. In love with her. Okay, She's good. beautiful, as you can see. She's yeah. charming. Yeah. She's very warm and caring. Yeah. You can tell there's a lot of love between you yeah. two, but you guys are also... Passionate, passionate. That's kind of Crowley, horny. Cr Cr Crowley used to give a shit about that all the time. Is that right? What, remember, he used to go, he's a passionate, passionate man. Passionate. And, mm -hmm, passionate. It's How do you so maintain your passion after all these years? It's a really interesting question, right? I mean, yeah. it's still there. Uh, for we had a little, we had a couple of downturns. Wait, I had another thought before I get into this. Um, oh, no, I can't think of it. Uh, we had a couple of downturns. One was having children, which in, everybody goes into a downturn yeah, with that. Sex life. Next is uh, she had menopause at a fairly young age, and thankfully got to proper hormone replacement and therapy for that. That changed everything quickly. Because she had, you know, heavy duty fertility treatment and that affected her libido from then on, yeah. really. And then you add children to that and blah, 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 blah. Nightmare. Yeah. And so she went to somebody who really knew how to handle that. And man, that was, we were all back. Well, let's well, just start um, from the beginning so hold because on. you were kind of horny. It's a slow time. <laughs> well, so what was there at the beginning is still there to answer your question. And so isn't that extraordinary? Yes. Yeah. And so I, I sort of I think you're rare. I mean, when you talk to people who've been together, you guys have been together, what, almost 30 years or something? Right? 23, almost 40 years. 24. Almost 40 years. Crazy, right? Yeah. That's I mean, insane. Right? Yes. But, but it's whatever that was stayed. Hmm. Huh. Which I is think. Pre, which is pretty good, How? right? How? So when, when, I, when people go, what's the magic? What's the secret? I, the first thing I tell them is make sure you are really, really, really into that person. Whatever that means to you. Make sure that there's like an intense, not not too intense, because intensity sometimes yeah. yes. gets confused for love. Make sure there's a, an attraction where you where you can. Um, it's sort of like alcoholism. Like today, I'm as attractive as I was yesterday, and a thousand yesterdays, and I assume tomorrow I'll be just the same, right? I mean, yeah. there's nothing changing that each day. It's th the same. I feel the same. Yeah. Uh, and and if you feel like if I could wake up every day, feeling like that's that's something that could be sustaining, it will. Does that make sense? Wow. Does it help? How dare you? Whatever. Oh, I know I was gonna tell you. I, I broadcasted with Lauren Savon for a long time and she was like, she, we were at dinner with them and her and her boyfriend and she goes, uh, I wanted to find all this stuff out about you and Susan and she just told it all to me before I asked any questions. And so here we go. So this is what I'm imagining. Do you think here. that it, this helps you? Um, uh, what are we doing? What's happening? <laughs> maintain. Your relationship. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Leanne Kreischer was on here, yeah. Leanne, and she said that she believes a quarterly blowjob <laughs> will will cut the mustard. What are you, what are your I, numbers I saw this so one. that I can compare and contrast? Oh um, probably, I mean, two or three, maybe four times a week. <laughs> <laughs> I like Christina's. I like Christina's reaction. Was what she, the three fuck, Three to man? four times a week, Well, she week, said two bro. or three to begin with. Right, and, and then maybe she four times. That's our low end. That's our low end. You get two to three, sometimes four times a week, blowjobs? Jesus, For starters. Damn. Wow, wow. They don't have a two and a four-year-old, by the way. Right. That was not happening then. Trust me. <sighs> Yeah. So, so I mean, bad for our can children, we right? can we change the name of your show to Doctor Drew? Fuck <laughs> like that. Is that cool? If you do the intro, <gasps> fuck Jesus Christ, you guys man. be fucking. And you you fuck. ha you don't have any. I mean, how old are you? I'm sweating. Uh, <laughs> sixty one. You're sixty one. 
No neuropathy. I don't neuropathy. even know if 61... Yeah, you have no neuropathy issues at all. Neuropathy? Yeah. <laughs> That's the guy that he came four know. times. That's the, I mean, because I know if you... If you if you want to see me go from a limp dick into a hard dick, I just smoke some meth and it comes oh, right out. Oh, yeah, for sure. But yeah. do you, so, I mean, is that normal for a 61-year-old man for you to? Uh, uh, yeah. Some. Okay. Are you extra Vera? I mean, have you always been so highly? Charged up, passion, yeah. passionate, you're, passionate, you're passionate, passionate. Charged passionate. up, yeah. man. You're fired up. I'm not like Ronnie. No. Right? No. We're talking, that's a Stern sure. Show reference. Yes. Uh, but, I mean, Ronnie's 70. That's I know. Right. I, I sit in admiration of him. But here's the deal, 61. man. But here's the deal, man. Yeah, is man. That Dr. Drew is a, a, a quiet simmering type. Yes, yes. I would never. Yeah, I would never guess it either. Guess that. And you're getting never. that. You're getting that sloppy top four times a week. <laughs> I mean that's impressive, bro. That is dope. That's a that's a that, yeah. she she admitted that four was a little bit of exaggeration. Okay, yeah. but three. But still, two is in there. Three sometimes. Wow, and I would never uh, know. You're so put together. You never you never put, give this off. This is part of being put together, you ladies never and gentlemen. Right. Give right. off sexual right? vibes. But I'm but saying this, I work with you. You've never given off boundaries, sexual vibes. Boundaries. But you've uh, and by the way, I'm <laughs> my my chi is depleted by my wife. How could I? And also. <laughs> <laughs> two to three times a week. If you're getting two to three times a week, um, I think that's actually kind of good for a political campaign. If you do run for <laughs> office, you know, cradle status. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like Dr. Drew for mayor. Mm -hmm. I'm busting nuts all week long. <laughs> Something like that. You know? That should so be the you slogan. Don't have the yeah. slogan. The campaign yep. slogan. Two to three BJ's a week. Yeah. Wait for wait. everyone. Bust like that. Yeah. And yeah. then you include yeah. people like that, that uh, from all Christina's different races. Christina's writing it down. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. What if it was that? Dr. Drew for mayor. Everybody can get some. And then, oh. and then it shows like an yeah, Asian some for and a Latino yeah, yeah, and a black person. And then, yeah. And then it just shows your hard dick. Busting nuts since 1983. <laughs> Busting nuts, bro. Dude, that is impressive. It's man. amazing. It is. And may I say too that Susan came wearing a, a very low cut dress and no bra and she's got those be beautiful big naturals. They're naturals. Yeah, it's her. I yeah. can't believe that. There's, there's a famous, she tell you the famous story about a friend of ours who, uh, somebody called her and said, you know, I want to get my, my boobs done. Who who uh, who do you recommend for a surgeon? She goes, you know, the ones I admire the most are. I'm going to find out who did Susan Pinsky's. Yeah. And she, my friend called her. It was Simone Bien, and she calls her, and, and, and Susan's like, um, God did mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Funny. Good wow. For Good for her. Wow. Man. Charged up. Drew. Yeah. I mean, and I think actually what this appearance and this message really tells people uh -oh. is put the burden on the wife. Some. It's on <laughs> her. She's the one. Some, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah she's taking care right? of you. It's yeah, like completely. It's like almost every wife. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Don't could. you eyeball well, me? Well, and I'm like talking that. to our audience. I'm <laughs> saying we're just turning. I maintain the bear's uh, libidinal. Needs. All I'm saying is that how do you know? Once, once, maybe there's a maybe there's a similar pot three, there too. Sometimes four <laughs> times a week. Here's what I make the but deal with you. But you have two little kids, though. Here's the deal: is you put put a contract into the future. Yeah. Thank you. Also, you College. know, once this happens, mm -hmm. I told you you could bust nuts all day. Oh, there she's nervous go. about children. I see. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. That's good. Yeah, that'll, it makes me nervous. We, yeah. You get, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take care of that. Um, and another I like clip. This, the, I like the views, the pictures of astonishment at Christina's face. Yeah. I could believe not believe. I mean, it's like finding out that your awesome history teacher <laughs> is like really fucks dude like what, I, was, what, I was blown what was going through your head i mean your I eyes like, are lit i was like this bitch gives like four beaches it's actually actually it's a great analogy because what happens is when somebody who you look at as you know uh more established educated up. haven't you destroyed me enough no here <laughs> do you have to get every aspect of my life is no, there not no, a corner no. this is true though because you know how when you're a kid you, you want my kids now to come in here and talk no. about yes, 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 i am yes no. yes no, no but, yes yes i do I but you know when you're a kid and you see your teacher yeah. Yeah. like at the supermarket yes, yes. you're yes. like that you have another life yes, like you have a like complete that. life it mm -hmm. feels a bit like that mm -hmm. like you're dr drew mm -hmm. you're yeah. smart you're articulate you teach us things and then to know that you're just like <laughs> busting nuts all over all week it's exciting <laughs> and I'm just thinking, it's not really busted nuts because I don't produce fluid anymore. That's right. That's, that's right. right. So that's right. Prostate. That's I have prostate better. cancer and a prostatectomy. But that's, you, even, that's why she's given out fucking four beaches a week, yeah. dude. It's you still have orgasms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but so. that's great. There's did no you mess. remember? Do you remember you were orgasm this time? You uh -oh. started <laughs> butt sexing at fifty. 50. Uh, it's not Drew's thing. <laughs> it's not. It was your thing. <laughs> it worked out. 
in my direction, but I had to try it. We were on a cruise, and you got to try it on a again, cruise. Again, again, we were on a cruise. And they got eight, eight, H1N1 like the next day. You know, he was always talking about butt. getting. Yeah, did you think? Yeah. Oh, shit. The dog thinks so, too, I can tell. Did you? Get, we'll see. Yeah. So, hold on. You guys started having anal at 50. Yeah, that was after she got hormone therapy. Right? Yeah. So, there was things were on then. So It worked out that direction. I've got to remember that. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty amazing to start a new sexual practice like that so late in life. I mean, that's... Yeah. Kids were out. That's the key. The kids were out, mm -hmm. and you were like, I'm ready to... Because she well, says we it's your doing, Drew. She blames you for the anal. Uh, oh no, sorry. She, I think she, she said, said it worked out her direction. Okay. <laughs> I think part so of I think part idea? of this though that I is, can't being, is being ignored. We haven't just touched on it yet. It did not look is, like the corn lady, though. I assure you. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I think part of it is that you have always uh, maintained um, physical weightlifting. Yeah, it's helped. Yes. And that's right, because you see guys in their sixties that look like absolute dog I, I, shit. And that and there's that, no and way. When, they when we were kids, a sixty-year-old looked like oh. Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you know what's interesting is that Mrs. Robinson and the graduate mm -hmm. is like my age. Yes. She's like in her 40s. Yes. And you're like, she was a proper woman. I'm still wearing tiger sweatshirts. Uh, yes. Like, that was we have crazy. a problem where we don't want to grow up here. I don't want to grow yeah. up here. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Oh, Drew God. for mayor. Oh, I'll make you come. <laughs> <laughs> You did anal at 50. Now, is this a practice that you've kept mm. in the rotation? It's in the rotation. Wow. wow. Jesus wow. Christ. How I often are we doing it? Bl <laughs> Mine's blown. Is yeah. it a quarterly anal or is it? I, I can't, I'm not sure I can. It's not on the calendar. Yeah. Right. I Maybe mean, we don't like tip Well, let's tip round it, it up. Like what, four times a year? More, less? More. Wow. God. <laughs> really impressive well no he's got the stamina yeah. the stanima stanima the well, to be, and man. to be fair the prostatectomy gave me a little more stamina really yeah a little more strangely really yeah that's impressive man. yeah it's good so those of you are worried about getting your prostate out stop it yeah you still, can everything fuck. still can yeah yeah you can fuck more and you can and, put it in people's butts <laughs> <laughs> you can get four knobbers a week do you think it's more exhausting <laughs> <clears throat> for Susan to get vaginal or butt pounded yeah, by you. Oh, right. <laughs> you have to bring her back and ask her. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm getting... Because we're having a debate here as to which is more <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> Anal or vaginal? What's more exhausting for What do you think is? <laughs> I, I, I've never experienced it, so it's hard for me to know. What do you does, notice like from when... What like, do you mean when, by exhausting, by the way? Like when you're... Like let's say you tiring. pound, you go to vag town but you pound and then you the next time you go to butt town and you pound do you think it's more tiring for her for the, yeah to get butt pounded or vag slammed seems about the same really mm. oh wow mm. well she's for resilient the she's for very the resilient yeah, for, she's a specimen <laughs> she's a specimen oh my god what's going on with my life I knew this was gonna be bad but I didn't know how bad for Jeez. yummy pussy <laughs> He's checking his text. He's fully, fully checked out. It's called I, I need, disassociation. I need, it's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. Tom gets me there. Yesterday, I went into a goddamn fugue state. You did. I did. Oh, gosh. Listen, I think this is beautiful, Drew. We're I celebrating too. you and your yeah, wife and yeah. monogamy because so many, we, we well, look to you. Well, that's the other thing. That's the other good news is I just am not interested in anyone else which is crazy. i believe yeah, you which is that's why you don't pick up a sexual vibe you're anything. cool as fuck I, i'm just not interested i'm interested in you know yeah and your well, wife i gotta save my chi yeah for your wife mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. man do we have any other embarrassing clips no that was it that that's was the biggies from that. yeah, yeah. Was the i'm just glad to know that she was well received by the the, the, the yeah. mom's house crowd yeah, and i have to say that it's so it's <sighs> i love couples who love each other mm. that's our big thing we've always enjoyed each other's company that's true i know we and and, and, and we like sort of refound it when our kids went for college you were like oh jeez we love spending time together it's awesome and this fucking covid destroyed what was supposed to be everything. a summer of travel and things we were going to do stuff yeah that's a good question so now that uh, you and susan have been cooped up in the house 
oh, for COVID. Does it you, increase it? Well, has it increased? And have you tried anything? It really new? hasn't. No, it hasn't increased because I've been depressed and upset, oh. and it, it's made things not as good. It has been like we were just talking about the stages of our own emotions during quarantine. Like it feels yeah. like you go through the stages of grief, you know? Mm -hmm. So like we went <laughs> through like, like shopping a lot online. Shopping one of the stages. Exactly. Yeah, it, it was like a, it was like a form of, you know, coping. Yeah, we're trying like, to feel better, yeah. Right, then there was like the heavy exercise phase and there's like, then you go like, I'm drinking. eating and drinking too much. Yes, all all the, happened. The croissant um, phase. Then mm. the then the over existential crisis stage. Then you go, you know, I mean like it's, it just I, feels I, like it's I, been. Then I added like politically upset or yep. socially upset and concerned and worried and that's well, been really fun maybe you should get back to fucking because i feel like you yeah, guys i know were good at that. yeah i know Dude, why don't you make a that. movie yeah do you know how well that would sell <laughs> so why don't we just get a fans only site only yes, fans only remember fans. Yes. oh stop i agree I, fa Dude, I i say fans dr only. drew only fans are you serious where at first you're just like, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm doing this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to crank one out real quick. You guys want to watch? <laughs> You'll see a huge uptick in your subscriptions. Uh, it's a new world, Drew. All that stuff. I, RPC has exposed me to <laughs> yeah, it. I exactly. understand. You don't have to. I understand it now. He, he, was, he led the way. Uh, oh, quick medical we, question. Before you do, we, we, sure. need to, we need to put up the tour. I think it's time for the tour. The tour? The tour of RPC. Oh, house. yes, yes, yes. Oh, I think it's time. Oh, By the way, I... Um, thought of a slogan for dr for drew Mayor. dr mm -hmm. drew yeah yeah underneath doctors fuck too nice no i like doctors oh i was thinking Tom, a shirt use that brain for good yep only yep trust me but i was thinking the Medical? shirt the shirt oh. should be anal starts at 50 oh i like that better yes. anal starts at 50 yeah good. well yeah. that's time i made a shirt yeah. It's, That's it's a, a shirt. shirt. It's yeah. already in development. Oh. It starts at 50. <laughs> it's already out there. It's already we started the design work last week, <laughs> <laughs> right after this interview. Where <laughs> anal starts at 50. It's pretty good. It's amazing. So, a medical question, just to get off of Is it possible to put your mm -hmm. dick and your balls in your own asshole? Because we saw the gentleman could do his balls. Yeah. Why not it, it the dick? It looked too? like the dick could have gone there as well by, yeah. the, by the whole. He had some real hang and. Yeah, the situation there. I was sort of surprised he hadn't tried that, actually. He has. Mm. Ah. So, what he, he's had, he has. <laughs> tried it all at once he's he tried had, the penis he, he's had the tip of it in there yeah. and he's had both balls in there i know that and he's had both balls in there and then someone else's dick in there and then he's had I, both I know balls that in there and put his dick in someone else yeah of course <laughs> tom 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 and i spent a lot of time trying to figure out how the pain was yeah you know, the, the, the general issue of smashing balls not being being tolerable yes which, and what's you, the you have to watch the episode to see Oh yeah. shit! Okay, yeah, that's well. pretty good. We that's spent quite good. a bit of time on it. Yeah. Now you're wow. so you had did you tell him about your cream of wheat? Yeah. <laughs> dilemma. So, here's the deal. I haven't had cream of wheat since childhood, and Why? I'm such a huge fan. I just stopped eating it. I was on a low carb diet. So the other are you day, on low carb diet now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Low carb or no carb? Um, more or less no carb. Okay. Anyways, the other day I had two hard boiled eggs and I really got a hankering for cream of wheat. Okay. So I ate my two hard boiled eggs and a little while later had a bowl of cream of wheat. Okay. Raging diarrhea. Oh, interesting. Now, much like si a scientist like you are, I wanted to replicate the results yes. to see if it yes, was a sure. one time thing, of an course. anomaly, if you will. I replicated the thing, same diarrhea. Same thing. And I did the same exact thing in the morning. Two hard boiled eggs, took a break, cream of wheat. How many blow days out. between the cream of, cream of wheat? experiment oh gosh like I'm, a week or like a week yeah isn't yeah. that fascinating people i've heard people report diarrhea from heavy sugar loads oh that's what he gets that's what i get yeah uh How, I, it makes sense a... to me if that's tr uh, that would probably not happen to me i, I do too well with sugars but but mm -hmm. I'm guessing there must be an intermediate state where people could just get it from carbohydrates from starches could generally it, could it be oh. like just a food sensitivity to that food is it you know? fibrous? Is it because of the high fiber? Mm, but that wouldn't no. blow so me wait, out. Wait, you said you do too well with sugar. What does that mean? Meaning, I, my I eat sugar, my bowels don't oh, do nothing, anything. Okay, yeah, nothing yeah. ever happens with that. In fact, mm. so I'm, it's interesting. I wonder if it's something to do with this you see low this carb old thing. Old cream of wheat commercial. Possibly. I don't eat many carbs. It's my favorite. There goes. Yeah. Uh oh. I love cream of wheat. Uh oh. It's so hot and creamy. It feels so good when it goes down my throat. It really fills the girl up. Nutritious and delicious. Eat it before it gets cold. Aww. 
This is cute. Oh my god. Oh, I like this one. This is when porn used to be fun, though. When there was always comedy involved. Yeah, yeah. this is light. I like Strange this. music and comedy. Not porn, commercials. This is oh, a commercial. Sorry. How come Cream of Wheat hasn't had to change their box? Have they changed it? Um, I don't think so. How do you not drop that Cream of Wheat? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just lay down. <laughs> uh, did you have toast with your cream of wheat? I did not. I felt that was too carby. That's kind of a nice commercial, though. <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you want to see a bus hit a guy on a bike? <laughs> Does it matter? I'm kidding. Does it matter what I want? I'm kidding. I don't have that. Okay. <laughs> you should go to my friend Nicole and Jamie's website, uh, Instagram. You probably find something to enjoy there. She's she's a uh, <laughs> autopsy pathologist. Oh, really? And is interested in all kinds of exotic. I would love that. It's in this. It's Nicole underscore and Jemmy. It's oh, an Instagram. Gosh. Okay. And uh, A N G E M I. And uh, I saw one of hers yesterday where the guy just picked up a head on the street, and I thought Tom would love this. What uh, picked up a head? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I like this. I follow a guy on TikTok who uh, cuts open bodies. You got to go you got to go to the restrict Shit. See how there's restricted ones yeah, there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got you got to go to those. Yeah. And you got to click on them. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not bad. It's a cold yeah, that's sword. nothing. Uh go down. Mm -hmm. Go to yeah, could, well, show, us, show some good ones. Ooh, what's on the lip there? That yellow fungus. He's, look, he's looking at the sensitive sensitive content stuff. Oh. Uh, that looks like organ. a organ. Looks like a lung or a liver. A it might be um that could be a COVID lung, frankly. Oh, shit. Because that's what they start to look like. Uh, anything else? Well, anyway, she's got lots of good stuff there. You guys will find. Okay. You know, that sounds you'll... really fun. Oh, my Thanks, God. Joe. That guy's relieving himself right there. He's relieving himself. That guy is just pissed on the ground. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> Officer, he just pissed on the ground. Officer? I don't believe this. He just pissed on the ground. Why is that so astonishing? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, guy's got a oh prostate problem. You guys, I can't uh, believe this. Uh oh. Thank you, God. That guy right there. He just. You can see the puddle. Thank you, God. You what can a see nerd. the puddle right underneath. That's piss, folks. That's not hydraulic oils. That's piss. Okay, nerd. Okay. Officer Silva, that man just urinated. <laughs> the piss is on the pavement down there. Yeah, I just witnessed it and got it on video. Okay. I can point them out to you. Is this sort of the, a go down there. version the of Fed Smoker. The truck. I'm gonna video it is, the right? Yeah. Now. It makes me wonder if this guy's on meth. <laughs> if, I, if I were that cop, I'd go, let me look in your car, I'm sir. I'm you yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. It's against the so law. So stop for a second. Thank you cops for cops have to deal with this stuff all the time. And so they develop a sense, the sense of what's going on, yeah. and the, the cop will go, "Oh, well, I mean, let's, let's go over to your car, and see what's going on." Yeah, <laughs> looking for a meth pipe. Sure. Yeah. Do you want me to point the guy out just, from here? Listen. I'll point the guy out from here. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm sorry. Listen. I'm just. This is this is unbelievable. Listen. He's so he's so worked up over it, like. And what's weird to me, I, at first <laughs> I thought, well, it's gonna be in New York, you know, Long Island, right? It's where yeah. this happens, but it kind of looks like New England a little bit. And I'm like, well, okay, but now they're in the woods. Who gives a shit? Even more. So strange. It's so weird. Wait, He's about to cry. Uh, I don't want any confrontation. I just wanted to Person show you the one. piss. Um, <laughs> he had, he had the big. He's the big, tall, bald guy, and he has little, like little a little yeah. accent, accent there. Yeah. Little yeah. accent. There, there he is. He's walking right now. Walking. What the fuck? He's never seen okay, a guy take a piss. He's seen walking. He just bent down to get that tool. So what I want That's the guy. Do. Oh hey, I'm out of here. I know. Oh look at this mint. Oh my god, look at this mint car. Oh my god, that's uh, mint. Oh he's dude. On drugs. Is he he is. See that distractibility he's stuff? Is that an LSD or something? No, 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 that's math. <laughs> that's math. It's like look, Fed smokers talking to a cop. Hey man, what's going on? You see anything? Red and white? Red and white? Do you see red and white? It's like they just get distracted. But do you see how you were standing are, right are there. You able to show me on the camera? No, this guy's going to get arrested. This fucking thing. That's what's going yeah. to happen. He just says, I don't know how to work this thing. I'm just, just going to go to the back of the truck, zoom in on the piss, and I'm out of here, okay? Oh, yeah. I gotta what are the chances? I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not going to talk to him. Talk to him. Oh, hey, look at that. He's got, he's got no choice. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, God. Ameripave. The, the other, as I've always taught you, it could be just mania. He could can be hype. He could be Can mad. I tell you something that mania. always strikes me in yeah. some of these videos? Yeah. Like when we see somebody like yelling some shit. Yeah. And then they drive. And I'm always like, that dude drives? Oh, like yeah. that guy's in a car? Uh, well, 
Good news is you'll see him in a police chase later today. Yeah. yeah. Those are the same guys. So, Cause, yeah. and, there, and there's a lot of things that we, like sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's these like parking lot confrontations and, yeah. and people get, and then you, then they just get in their car and drive away and you're yeah. like, fuck, that person's on the road. Yeah. It's really nutty. Yeah. Yes. They don't have to give you a mental You guys ought to, you guys ought to interview like a cop someday. Yeah. Like a no. high patrol officer or something to see idea. the stuff that they have to deal with. And this is commonplace for Most them, I'm of sure. It. Yeah. That's yeah. true, because nobody oh, wants to talk. Oh, oh we're getting the mouth licked again. I've seen this before. Oh, boy, those, the wolves are into it, man. So now when my dog tries to do this, I know where it's coming from. Yeah, you just let him do it, right? No, I don't, <laughs> but I know where it's coming from. Know I know what he's up to. Uh, uh. <laughs> God, this is a, an attractive group of people. Russian? No, this is in Norway or something. Oh, my God. Open your mouth, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, before the dog bites your nose off. Fuck that, he's growling right now. Yeah. He's scared to yes. death. <laughs> yes. He should be. Jesus. His fucking wild face animals. is about to get torn off. I mean, off. just the slightest yeah. little move. <laughs> and you can't do that. You can't, like, react in front no. of them. It's growling. Fuck. Yeah, I don't want this experience. No. I don't want to know. Yeah. Is this some sort of wolf it looks, yeah, encounter? Yeah, like yeah, you have to pay for yeah, this yeah, and yeah. follow the yeah. blonde chick up into yeah. the wolf. Sure, zone. yeah. Yes. Oh, God. God. No, Fuck all that. You. By the um, way, the wolves need this. Not really. Right? And they're also attractive. No, it's like the a people? fucking. Did you mouse. see the mouse pad guy? <laughs> yes, you did see him. Yes. Do you, you sh- what do you think's up with that? Like he's he's the guy who's like yeah. I got this mouse pad. Well, we were worried about you know. Sort of I like, certainly got something interesting in the meal today. Well, stop. We're uh-huh. trying to figure out what that accent is. Right. Well, here's the thing. It's very interesting that you bring that up because yeah. he put out another video. No accent. Well, no, he put it with the same accent. Uh-huh. Very, very upset that people were commenting that he's Russian. He's Czech. He doesn't. He, he doesn't, doesn't reveal. He's no, Jewish. He just says I'm Jewish. He's like I'm not Russian. I'm and Jewish. He said he'll like, block what? anybody that says Russian in the comments. So he's Israeli. Well, doesn't identify as that. He just says that he is. He's really, really upset about it. I mean, I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm getting comments on my videos saying I'm Russian this, I'm Russian that, when I'm really actually Jewish. This is my Jewish kippah. It's a Jewish headwear. <laughs> Jews put it on their heads. <laughs> this is my fucking Jewish prayer book. Hebrew letters. My fucking Jewish prayer book has words in Hebrew and English. But he clearly has what I'm sure like. his mishpoka is very happy with the previous <laughs> video about the mouse pads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If anyone posts comments on my videos saying I'm Russian this, I'm Russian that, I don't care if you fucking subscribe to me or not. I'll fucking block your ass permanently. Well, all questions about uh, pre existing conditions are answered. <laughs> there right? are some. Which is what we talked about at great length, you yeah. and I. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, yes. What's there? Uh, TikTok? It's, it's TikTok the syndrome. TikTok. I like that. Yeah. That's a diagnostic category now. <laughs> Talked, locked, <laughs> and ready to rock. I mean, there's an autistic quality, right? Oh. Yeah. And there's a uh, maybe maybe some cognitive stuff there. Well, also. it's interesting to make that to say like I'm not Russian. I'm I'm Jewish, as if those are exclusive. Also, also yeah. those are exclusive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's Strange. not quite getting it, and why it would upset him is sort of fascinating. Yeah. But uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, can you pull up the uh, merch method site? He's not understanding. So again, he doesn't under yeah, he doesn't understand the, the social sort of distinctions. Yeah. Uh, so. Real quick, I wanted to bring um, so the people's attention. A lot of people were uh, amazed at how fast the uh, the two bears hat sold out, and as were we. It has been reordered. It's a partnership with New Era and minor league baseball so it takes a minute really to yeah oh. so nice. we'll, we will have those back in august i'm told um there's a new thick boy hat uh 10 milligram tom there's scrum master tees if you have earned them you can wear them please you can't i'm not wear wear your wear scrum, scrum master and susan can susan wear to... a scrum master what is a scrum master? scrum master has the mouth open the tongue out certified scrum master it means that you eat the booty 
No, she's not a scrum master. Okay. So I'll have to one have to query her whether I should wear the scrum master. Yeah. Because oh. I'm learning new material about her. Thank to you guys. Well, scrum uh, meeting we starts have, at 60. But, but I will look forward to soon. Yes. Uh, anal starts at 50 <laughs> and coming. scrum starts at 60. Yeah. Uh, it's Bridge O'Clock with Charo on it. <laughs> um, talked, Locked, and Ready to Rock is very popular uh, if you're a big talk fan. There's the YMH, like the official YMH gear. Um, has the uh, the logo on it in all denim in mm-hmm. in black and white and in female cuts as we've been asked for many people asked for uh, the female cut. I want more products for my show. Yeah, yeah. we can do it. Come on now, We're let's do it. Um, there's the mommy's friends I'm shirt. Jealous. Ooh, uh, oh mask. yeah. Also male and female. There's new mask, pig mask. Uh, if you're gonna cough, leave the room. Thick we uh, we actually asked uh, my streaming audience uh, what they'd want from a mask, and they kind of said. Dr. Drew after dark, like in a, in a oh. like a sh- like along the jawline. Oh, they were interested in like a small kind of like a subtle, yeah, yeah, like yeah. shout out. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, uh, we got to write. We, get, we should talk about that uh, real quick. So the Charo mug, remember the one that I had? We had to petition Charo. Yes, that we had sold to out her. immediately. You had to go to her. We, I had to bri- I had to give her an <laughs> iPad Pro to release the <laughs> merch, um, but it was Good worth it. You. It sold yeah. out in 24 hours and People has been enjoy restocked. It. So you can uh, get that. The uh, do you work here, Nadav? Nadav's a missing person. Did you know that? We filed a yeah. report with LAPD, and then there's also uh, the Christina plea. Where my mom's at Tumblr, and of course uh, the koozies. Save home if you sick. Come over you thick. Problems make my. I'm dick so off. far behind. I've got, I've got just the four stroke stuff. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah. We're way way back. There's a lot of way stuff. Back. Well, this was reached like the store as you knew it. Uh, was uh, was kind of revamped. So there's a whole uh, looks, bunch of new stuff. It really stuff. looks like high quality stuff yeah, too. Yeah, there's some really good stuff I, in I there. I need, you know, we were at dinner Friday night uh, mm. and uh, these servers wanted to know all about you guys. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, and I didn't have any YMH gear on. Aww. So next time I need to represent. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got you. Or, or got just you. sell it right there. Absolutely. <laughs> I know, right? Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. <laughs> Um, what could you sell with Susan? Now you can sell butt you know plugs that, or... Oh, uh, you guys are... You're saying, oh, can we do a mold of your penis and <gasps> then sell that in the store? That would be fun. God, so many dudes would buy that. Oh my and God. ladies, ladies yeah, love Dr. They love Drew. Dr. Drew. I think that's a line we're not going to cross. What? Okay. I mean, could you just like take the idea home and talk about it? <laughs> well, as you boil the frog, my suspicion is you'll get what you want. Because <laughs> it's slowly I'm drawn into your lair. Yeah. And uh, whatever evil intentions you have. Yeah. Uh, Let us know in the comments if you want that Dr. Drew cock mold. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you, how about my wife's? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that yes, too. Yeah, kind of. I mean that's willing, yes. more useful. The vag yeah. sleeve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can empty it out. Feels like the real thing. It's great. Susan Light. Susan Light. I love it, man. Oh, um, it's always have her back on your pod and let's see where this goes. Are you kidding? All you've me? done is you've sort of set the you sort of you sort of did, messed up the topsoil. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Now well, you got to go in. That was an appetizer yeah, on where my yeah. mom's at. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. now we're going to go and yeah, we're going to do... See, I'm wondering as you boil her as the frog, where where it goes. Yeah. Where you're, you're, you, you She's evil, just the beginning. evil twins Dr. You are. Yeah. Drew <laughs> for mayor. I'm going to play with your booty. Yeah. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah. That's right. Anal I still have, at 50. I have multiple, you know, cool guys now I want to go visit. Yeah. No. That's Who are you? If we could find some of these guys. Yeah. Man, that he's just, one of them. He's, he's one of the cool guys. I like to. See we don't know. What, like, we just need to know where some of these people reside. I like to know? see. Yeah, I know. I like to see them in their natural habitat. It's quite fascinating. <laughs> I would like that too. It's it's like really like I'm a zoologist, right? Something. <laughs> zoologist <laughs> is a good word. For yeah. Them. Yes. And uh, the RPC experience still stays with me. It's yeah, a year, of course. It's like oh, a year. Oh God. It's like a year. Has it already? It was raining and it was pre-winter. No, it's probably eh. maybe a little bit. Was yeah. it last fall? Must have well, been you've like seen. Last, it was. I remember it was cold when you went yeah, to visit him. Yeah, it was cold him. and rainy. And you're wearing like but a it was long pre, coat. Definitely way pre-COVID. Yeah. We got to show the tour. Back when Because right, I, I found yeah. the tour on my phone the other day. I thought, oh, you're people, right. people yeah, will. Yeah, what's up with that? Footage? People will want to see this. <laughs> yeah, we got to release it. There's parts of it. At the time, uh, he was angry. Was us. really upset, so we yeah. didn't want to like upset him. You know. Gotcha. But now that he has his OnlyFans site, it's on. It's on. Yeah. I think so. It'll, it'll all wants. funnel into that. So. It's pretty cool. It's a real. It's a really eye-opening. I wear his costumes. What? I put on some of his costumes. You do? You do? 
You haven't seen this. You haven't looked at it in a long time. I, oh, that's right. That's the, right. The, when the you're try, oh, when the try you're it out. I thought you meant at home it, before you no. and yeah. Susan no, get no, down. No, you put on some That's a whole other. That's what line I understood. that Christina you might go, get into. Susan, <laughs> Susan, okay, you, you, want come, you want me to come in there and then you want, you want to have some sex real quick? Something like that. What, what's his What's his uh, evil guy's name? The one that's a devil worshiper and stuff? Something Lucifer, Lair? Lucifer's, oh, Lucifer's Lair. Lucifer's Lair. Lucifer's yeah. Lair. We'll recreate Lucifer's Officer Lair. Officer Cumdump. Uh. <laughs> he has that too. Where he puts on the police hat. Oh my God. And he blows a whistle. <laughs> He's like, Officer Cumdump. <laughs> that's the funniest fucking one. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Officer cum dump here. Yeah. Oh. Officer, Officer cum dump. Do, does anybody actually go to his house? Do you think ever? I asked him a couple times, and and he he said, well, you know, this is just like, like different guys, and it's, 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 I don't think so. Rest of anymore. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think know. anybody actually shows up. But you and I are going to go to per se with him. We are. Yeah. And then oh we're going to watch his performance in Coney Island when the COVID. Fuck over. yeah! I wish. I I saw, I, I we got to do this. I'm, that would I'm, be fun. I, I'm as, yeah. I'd like to see that. When I said I was going to go visit him, I did. One it, of and my I'm deadly serious. I'll about tell this you too. this too. One of my dreams of COVID being over uh. is actually going back to New York just to be like, it's over. This is a great city. Let's celebrate I be in New York. Let's celebrate know? with RPC. It's I love a great it. Great idea. I love it. We should do it. Yeah. I'll, Let's fly. Let's fly together. Mint. Let's do it. Let's get on JetBlue and go to New yeah. York. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the mint. But Me too. You, have right. to, you have to apply for those single units, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Single, <laughs> single pod. All I like way. it. Um, don't forget. If you get a cough, please leave the room. It's very important to manage your coughs and uh, listen to Doctor Drew after dark. Watch it every week here on the Your Mom's House podcast YouTube channel. Um, you'll see Dr. Drew and mostly Christina with him. It's a great show. Yes. You guys cover a lot of, uh, I love the, you know, just the way you, cause that's why we love having you on here. Like just getting explanations of things. You're so articulate. You're so informed. Um, Christina told me the truth <laughs> what? a couple weeks ago. <laughs> what? She went, when she was saying, how do you feel? Uh, you're looking at shit corn eating. <laughs> And all these years of training, all these uh, <laughs> these uh, these years of helping people, and here you are looking at shit corn. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I thought there it is. Yeah, that's their true motive. What do you think? You, you think taking we, me there? We just you know we do genuinely enjoy you. You're like I enjoy you guys too. You're, really. you're so wonderful. So, and well, I, thank you. I hope you don't think we're just trying to you know. No, you're, no we you're, love you're not you. just trying to, but you yeah. are actually doing that. I mean, I love to see you <laughs> stunned, upset. <sighs> hurt that's i know that's broken, what people like but that's what I people know. like they like it and you did it this last week on my pod so well yeah. done well yeah. done it was i knew he would feel like really like uh, mission accomplished after I that one. i bet you didn't go home and eat spaghetti after i that. did not no. nope i didn't eat at all yeah. i couldn't eat yeah for a few hours really? yeah it was that like my stomach was upset that feels good to me yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, there could come a time if there's a portal opened up of worse things where the trash can will get used. Yeah. Oh. I didn't think that was possible. But Ooh, now I see you gave me a goal. Okay. I can't wait. Okay, cool. well, just uh, if know. you want more of me at drdo.com to uh, me and Adam are there. Adam and I do a podcast every day. People are always like, why don't you guys ever work together? We've been doing a podcast for the last 10 years together. Thank you for listening. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and I do a stream every day too on all the platforms, YouTube and everything. You are working hard. Uh, just, uh, just really kind of, it's kind of answering questions and COVID updating and stuff like that. So, because people are so scared and so confused. And they should be, given the way stuff is being reported. So I sort of make it more clinical the way we see it as physicians and stuff. Well, just know we don't torture people we don't really love. I understand. Yeah. And I we feel, love you. If I we didn't, if we were do. indifferent, there would be no that torture. Would be, yeah, indifference from you guys would really break my heart. Yeah. No, of course. Please text me uh, your kid's number so I can invite <laughs> them to come on the show and talk about you. We would love to do that. <laughs> okay? All right. Dr. Drew, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.
this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a your mom's house video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.